another live stream, travel, explore, click live. Today we're gonna talk about long flights. So how do we get through long flights? Uh, so that's what we'll be talking about today. And I'm gonna give you kind of the, the things that I do to get through those long flights. The longest flight I've been on is about 12, 12 and a half hours. Uh, I know I'm sure there's some people in it that will be in the room that have been on a on longer flight. So you guys will let us know uh, how you got through that long flight. But uh, yeah, the longest I've been is about 12 and a half hours. And I've had a flight that's about 10 hours as well. So had some two, two pretty long flights. Uh, I apologize coming out a little late today. I, every time, it, it never fails when I don't have the time. Like usually when I have enough time to kind of sit down. And you guys will know because I started like 10 minutes prior to. Uh, the show, then that's when everything is working properly and, and, I'm, and I'm ready to go. But anytime it's a last minute deal where I have to come in and, and get everything together and, and, and scramble, there's always an update. And so that's what happened. So I turned everything on, I had about seven minutes prior to show. And as soon as I turned on the, the software that I use, I had to do an update. <laughs> so when it does an update, I just have to wait. There's nothing I can do. I can't, I can't open it up any earlier or anything like that. So that's pretty much the situation that I was in just a second ago. Uh, so let me, let's open up some stuff here so I can make sure everything is working properly. And then we will get going momentarily. So as you guys come in the room, just let me know you're here just by saying hello. And let's see. That's not what I want. That is what I want right there. Okay. So yeah, just let me know you're in here just by saying hello. Give me a little thumbs up, emoticon or something just so I can uh, give you guys a shout out. And uh, so happy face, emoticon, happy, hello, what's up, all that good stuff. Just put it in the, in the chat so we can uh, give you guys some shout outs. And also hit the like button for me, please. If you guys are here, just hit the like button. That way more people will know that we're doing a live stream here. Uh, I do like to start a little bit early, generally. Not, I shouldn't say early, but at least open up the, the stream a little earlier. So I do apologize for that, uh, just so everybody can kind of get settled and get in, uh, get in here. So I'm gonna be relying a lot on you guys as far as other experiences. So I'll give you my experience and we'll, we'll wait a few minutes, but I'll give you my experience as far as long haul flights. And then you, I want you guys to chime in and let me know what you guys are thinking when it comes to long haul flights. Also, I want you guys to check your points in like about seven minutes, something like that. Usually it takes about 10 minutes after the show starts for you guys to start checking your points. I want, I want you guys to do that because last time it wasn't working. So I'm hoping everything is working now. Yeah, because next week is, is uh, next Saturday we'll be doing the, the giveaway. So I want to make sure everything is working properly uh, because if not, I'm going to have to figure out what we're going to do. So uh, yeah, so please do that. And we're, we're going to have to fix that today if it's not working. It's not going to show yet, David. If it's not working, we're going to have to check. We're going to have to check and make sure that uh, that I'm doing everything properly because if not, then that, that, yeah, that's going to be a problem. <laughs> so I am going to have to figure that out. So, uh, yeah, as you guys come in, just let me know you're here just by saying what's, what's up and uh, also hit the like button. Like I said, please, uh, looks like actually, it looks like we have eight people in the room and eight likes. So that's great. Okay. So, uh, let's see here. All right. We can go ahead and get started now. So as far as long haul flights, uh, the way that I look at that, actually, you know, let me give shout outs first. I forgot about that. Let's do some shout outs and then we'll go ahead and uh, officially get started here. So let's see. We got David in the building. What's going on, David? And let's see. Nate and Jess, how you guys doing? Who else is in our building right now? <laughs> you guys are going back and forth early. Dolly, what's going on? How you doing? Brian, what's going on? Let's see. Jeremy, what's up, man? What's going on? Cakeology, what's going on, brother? So Cakeology, he's got a channel. Uh, he has a YouTube channel. So Cakeology, just go over to Cakeology. Just You see his name in the profile. Uh, just type that up. And uh, he's got some good information about business credit. So you, want, you guys want to check him out. He has some real good 
He's very knowledgeable. Uh, he will be on our show next Thursday, so uh, or I should say this Thursday. This Thursday coming up, he'll be on the show. We'll be interviewing him, and he'll be able to uh, talk about how to uh, about business credit, how to get credit as a business, that kind of stuff. So you guys definitely want to check us out. It's going to be Thursday. I believe we said 6.30, so, or 5.30. No, we said 5.30. I'll, I'm, I'm going to post everything so you guys will know for sure. Uh, but 5.30 is, is what we're going with, uh, 5.30 Pacific Standard Time. So we'll be talking with him, and we'll find out some more information about him. But I want you guys to check out his channel, not right this second, but uh, just save it and open up a tab, and then after we're done, check out his channel. He's got some really good information. If you have a business, you have to... Uh, go over there and watch his channel because he he's got some some good stuff as far as getting credit on the business side. I'm really interested and I'm going to be picking his brain uh, not only Thursday but even after that <laughs> because I want to find out exactly how to establish a credit line for my business. Uh, that way you can establish get new credit cards and stuff like that. So I can, in a sense double up my credit, uh, credit cards, I shouldn't say that, double, so I'll have my personal line of credit, I still have right now business uh, cards, but it's attached, it's still tied to my business, or to my personal uh, account, so what I want to do is have a separate line that's, that's all credit cards that are business uh, credit cards, uh, okay, so, uh, Cakeology, check out his channel, all right, Bruce Law, what's going on, buddy, and I think, I think that's it. Yeah, I think we have everything. Now, if you guys have any, um, let's see here. If you guys have any questions, just put at TEC, and then I'll make sure that I, I answer those questions. I'm not going to answer the questions right this second. We're going to start first and talk a little bit about long-haul flights, and then from there, then we'll, we'll jump into the, the Q&A, and uh, we'll, we'll talk there. So, yeah, and <laughs> as you see David said, hopefully the... the, the um, the bot is working today, and I'm, I'm hoping so. If not, then like I said, I'm going to have to figure something out because uh, I have to get this thing to work, right? I guess you, when you're dealing with, uh, with, with technology, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But uh, I need to have a plan B because I'm not going to tell everyone I'm doing a giveaway and then come, come that day, we can't do the giveaway because, because of this. So I've already been kind of brainstorming some different things that we can do to get this thing all going, uh, but uh, definitely... We're going to have to, hope, hopefully it works, and if not, then I'm going to have to, on the fly, we're going to spend the last 10 minutes of the show just trying to figure out uh, what's going wrong and why it's not working. Okay, so uh, thank you guys all for stopping by today, and we are going to talk about how to survive long flights, and this is just my routine. This is how I do things, and then we'll get into, uh, then we'll do the Q&A, and, and I want you guys to really chime in and let me know how you guys feel. I'm also gonna be doing polls every, like prior to the show, maybe throughout the week, I'll do different little polls and then I'll show you guys the polls uh, because I think those are really interesting just to see what people come up with as far as uh, how the polls uh, play out and then people have comments and, I, and I'm always interested to hear what people are saying about different things. So we're gonna be talking about that as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Long haul flights. How do I get through a long haul flight? So, and this is trial and error. I've been doing this for the last couple years as far as just flying uh, when, it's a, when it's a long flight. I generally set up my, or, or segment my, my trip. So when I say segment my trip, basically I have Three hour blocks, basically that's how I go about it. So it's usually three hour blocks. I don't always do everything exactly the same, but that's kind of the, my routine's a three hour block. So when I first get on the plane, the first thing that I'm thinking about is, I won't say the first thing I'm thinking about, but that first three hours generally is gonna be the time where I'm like um, working on something. So usually as soon as I get on the plane, as soon as we take off, we're in the air, I will have my laptop. I have a small little 13-inch um, laptop. So I'm always thinking about doing work. So I'm thinking about doing editing and things like that. And so that's my first three hours. It's going to be editing, and it's going to be usually, usually you have a meal at some point uh, during that time. So it also depends on what I'm flying, if I'm flying business class or economy. If I'm flying business class, I'm a little bit more relaxed because I know I have time to, if I really want to take a nap, 
and I have to lie flat seat. I have time to do that. Uh, so uh, that that's kind of that does play a factor as well. But uh, for the most part, that first three hours, I am I'm working. I'm usually working, and so I'll do that. And then after that three hour block, then that's when it kind of it gets a little bit more interesting because. At, that, at some point, I'll probably have the meal whenever they have the meal or I bring my own food. So if I'm sitting in the economy, uh, then a lot of times I'll just bring my own food. I don't, I'm not, the, <laughs> how can I say this? Economy food, I, I really, yeah, it's just mediocre at best. So usually I'll bring my own food and I can kind of eat on my own schedule. Uh, so uh, if I look at the food and it doesn't look like something that I want to eat, then I, I'll have my own food with me. And uh, that's, that brings me to another thing. When I, when I fly, yeah, like I said, if I fly an economy, I'll bring food from home. And this is something that, that some people don't know. When you go through the, the checkpoint, you can bring your own food. You can't bring liquids, but you can bring food. So if you want to bring a sandwich, if you want to bring whatever, you can bring that as long as it's not in a liquid form. And you can even bring water, but you have to freeze it. So if you want to do that, I don't, or you can bring like, I guess, uh, something to drink, but it has to be frozen uh, when it goes through the checkpoint. So just something to think about. I, I'm not that crazy about bringing a, a beverage, it's so serious about bringing a beverage that I have to freeze it, but uh, you can do that. So I'll, I'll usually bring food from home. I'll bring, I'll bring a sandwich or, or, or something like that and you know, a bag of chips or something. Uh, that's if I know I'm flying economy and and I, you know, I, I want to do it that way. It's, it, like if I'm flying business class, first class, I'm I'm eating what they have on the plane for the most part. I'm not bringing anything. That food better be good <laughs> because I'm using my points and I'm hoping that it, you know it's a good experience. One other thing you can do too, just to kind of give you give you a heads up, get on SeatGuru.com, uh, and uh, in certain situations, in most situations. People will take pictures of their food and they'll have it on, and that doesn't that doesn't guarantee that's what you're going to eat. But I'm just saying, uh, they'll have uh, have it as pictures so you can kind of at least see what to eat, or see what people are eating on the plane, maybe around the time when you're flying out, uh, so you can kind of get an idea of what meals are are being served. Um, I don't even go that far. I really, it's just who. I, I won't say who cares, but usually business class, you're probably going to have a decent meal. Uh, or first class, you're, you're probably going to have a decent meal. Now, if it's a long haul flight, yes, you're going to you're going to have a meal on the plane. So I don't care if you're flying economy or not. Uh, if you're flying a 10 hour, 12 hour flight, you're going to have a meal at some point. So uh, just something to think about. But if, when it's economy, I'm bringing my food, and I'll eat what's on the plane. If because usually I'll eat twice. If it's a 10 hour flight, I'm going to eat twice anyway. So I'll eat what's on the plane. If it looks okay, if it doesn't, then I'll just eat the food that I brought. Uh, so. Uh, first three hours, I'm doing work, okay? And that's when I'm usually the most alert, right? So that's when I want to do work. And then uh, I'll eat at some point, maybe at the end of that three hours. So that, that last hour, the three-hour block, I'll eat. Uh, and then the next three hours generally is my relaxing time. So I'm not really going to do much. Uh, so meaning that I'll open up my, my tablet and watch Netflix or watch something. That, that, that's generally what I'll do. Uh, so, and three hours, watching <laughs> videos for three hours is not very long. So like I said, first three hour block, we're just doing our, our editing and, and, and work. The next three hour block, I'm watching, I'm watching Netflix and I pull up a couple of, couple of movies or just watch, uh, like usually Netflix is good where you can download, you can download their, uh, their mo some of their movies and you can watch it offline. So that's what I'll do. I'll download, usually I'll download the whole series. Like when I went to Hawaii, which is not a 10 hour flight, it's only six hours. Uh, I just downloaded a, a series, like a, a series of episodes and then just watch those. And then after that, so let's say we've gone past, so we're now in the six hours, right? So we had the first three hour block, the second three hour block. Uh, then that, that last three hour block generally is a three or four hour block, depending on how long your flight is. Uh, that last three, four hour block is when I'm going to relax a little bit. So uh, I, I I've, very rarely do I sleep on a plane. Even if it's a live flat seat, I might take a nap for an hour and a half maybe. But I can't really get comfortable to sleep unless I'm really, really tired. So because of that, it, it's nice to have the live flat seat. But usually I don't like sleep for any period of time. 
Uh, and if it's economy, I'm definitely, I'm not sleeping. I like to sit in a, a window seat. That's another thing I guess I should talk about too. So when it comes to long haul flights, I wanna sit in a window seat. And I like sitting in the window seat, period, but I want to sit in the window seat only because, or mainly because I can kind of lean up against the, the, the plane uh, when, I'm, when I'm sleeping. So I do kind of do that. I always have that. I get the, it's funny, but I get those pillows, the uh, neck pillows. But the funny thing about the, and there's one brand that I always get, and of course I don't have it out, but I'm going to go grab it right now just because I want to show you guys. So, <laughs> and you guys are probably saying, why, I don't know if you can even see them here, why do I have like three of these things? <laughs> but uh, usually what happens is I, <laughs> I don't always have it. I, I forget it sometimes. And what I'll do is I'll just buy another one. Usually they're like 40 bucks. Uh, what's the name of this thing? So this one, actually this is a knockoff of of the pillow, I'll tell you what the name of the pillow is in a second. But uh, yeah, this is, a, this is a knockoff. Actually, these are all different, three different brands. I thought they are all the same. So this is the brand that I started going with. It's the, Ka Ka Bo Ka Bo I don't know how to say that. Let me just hold this up for you guys to see it. Hopefully you can, you're not gonna be able to read it because it won't be in focus there. Uh, let's see, Ka Kabo. Ka Cabo or something, I don't know. Neck pillow, really nice. It's got this nice, uh, I'll post a link. I'm gonna pull it up right now and post a link so you guys will know what I'm talking about here. But it's really, it has that memory foam. And so, but what I found is <laughs> they have some knockoffs and this is just like a Hawaii. This is the one I had last time I went to Hawaii. Same thing, memory foam, uh, very, very, very comfortable. And this one is Sleep Life. Okay, now this one's a little better uh, this is a little better quality than than the other two. Uh, just uh, it has a little thing here too that kind of pulls out and it snaps around. So like that, so it'll snap around your neck. So that's pretty cool. I like this this a little bit better than the old fashioned little drawstring thing here. So uh, yeah, but th this is what I'll get. And, and what I do a lot is I will. I'll, I'll just buy them, on, I'll buy them when I'm at the airport. They have them at every airport. Uh, so I'll just wait and I'll buy them there. And it's like 40 bucks. If I can't remember to bring it, then I'll, I'll just buy one. It's worth it. If it's a long haul flight and I don't have one, because there are certain situations, I don't like carrying it, to be honest with you. I don't like carrying it around. And uh, this brand, usually you it's memory foam, so you can you can condense it down, uh, but the only problem is it's not always, uh, it, it doesn't always work. Like, you, you condense it down and it kind of pops open, so it's not always uh, practical. Let me see if I can pull that up, uh, that brand here. And I know you guys are probably have had that or used that brand as well. Pretty popular. Anytime you go to the, like uh, any major airport, I've always seen them there. And they're usually around... Uh, there it is, Evolution Pillow. So it's usually around 40 bucks. Um, okay, let's see. I'm just gonna put a, put a link in the chat so you guys can go over there. I'm not getting sponsored by them or anything like that. I do like their products though. They make some really quality products and I like the, the, that memory foam. It's really comfortable. Uh, for long flights. So I do like to sit in the window seat, have that little pillow, and then just, if I, if, yeah, if, I, if I'm in the economy seat, that's the way I have to, I like to do it. Just sit there in the corner and just kind of lean my neck onto the memory foam and take a nap. <laughs> so really good quality stuff there. And I posted a link so you guys can check it out. Like I said, I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that. 
I just think they make some really quality equipment or quality uh, stuff. And, and looking at their website, they have some some different ones, like some of these I've never seen before. Which let's pull that up. Looks like some interesting stuff to look at. Uh, hopefully, it's on the right screen here. I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. It's on the right one. All right. So, yeah, this is their website, but it's interesting. They have some, some different things here that I haven't seen before. So it's like a eye sleep mask thing, little blanket there. This is the one that I usually use here. And this is a, this is a different one. I haven't seen that one before. Uh, cool travel pillow, huh? That's, that's interesting. So yeah, that, that's, that's the website there. Really good products. And then, like I said, they do have knockoffs. And so if you're in a bind, as long as you get memory, as long as I get memory foam, I'm fine. But, um, uh, I found that this, this to be the, the best ones, uh, to use uh, for long flights. So where are we now? So we had the first three hours, second three hours, and now we're into the last, the last little segment of our flight. Usually that's when I'll take a couple of hours just to kind of close my eyes. And then once I get down to that last, usually the last couple of hours on a flight anyway, there's stuff going on. You're going to have the, the flight attendants coming through and getting trash and, and you might have a meal if, it's, if, uh, if that's the way they have it set up. Uh, so you'll do that and then you're, you're, that last hour you're going to be drop, you know, landing. Dropping. Cool. <laughs> that's not a good thing to say on a plane. So you'll be landing. So... Uh, at that point, you're getting everything ready. So it's it's a really bad time to do work. That's why I like to do work at the very beginning. That way, uh, for one, let's say I have a lot of work to do. Let's say I'm editing video, and editing video in some situations takes a long time. And I could, <laughs> that three hours, I could easily go through three hours of editing and be into, you know, five hours of editing, believe it or not. Or uh, what happens a lot is you'll edit video, and usually I'm editing because you can't really do much else. I'm not on the internet or anything like that. Uh, so, you know, when I'm editing, sometimes it takes, it can take a couple, well, it could take at least an hour, hour and a half to render. So just to render out the, the stuff that I edited. So uh, you have to keep your computer on for that to happen. So uh, that, I, I might not be doing anything. It's just in the background, it's, 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 rendering this this video so I don't want to wait till the last minute to do that because I don't want to be in a situation where I have to close that computer shut it shut it down while it's in the middle of a render so uh, that's why I want to do it you know the front front end so the front end I'm doing the editing and then in the back end you're kind of just relaxing and waiting for for uh, the plane to land so those are kind of the, the things that I do those are those are the things I do and I like I said sometimes I'll, I'll kind of switch it up just a little bit but for the most part, any work that I need to do on the plane, I'm doing that up front. And then some of the other stuff, that as far as eating and things like that, I'll kind of spread that out. Uh, I always bring snacks too. So if that means I'm bringing it from home or I go to a lounge, uh, a lot of times now, since I can go to lounges, if I already have it set, you know, my plan where I know that there are certain lounges that I can go to, then I'll go to those lounges, I'll get some snacks. Uh, I know it's not recommended, but you can get a few snacks, throw them in your bag. That way you have something uh, while you're on the plane uh, so you can eat kind of, you know, snack uh, at, your, at your leisure. You don't have to wait for the flight attendants to bring uh, snacks by. You'll have snacks on your own. Uh, so that's good. Okay, so that's how I do it, but I want to know how you guys do it. So please, in the chat, just let us, give us some pointers or give us an idea of how you guys handle things when it comes to that. Okay, uh, let's see. See if the bot's working, guys. I don't know if you guys have been doing that. But uh, let's see if we can pull some, show some points. It looks like he's there. Uh, check your TEC points by typing. Okay, it's, it's telling you to do it. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it's working. And then we're going to work our way up to the top here. If, we have, if you guys have questions, comments about uh, how you get through long haul flights, please let us know in the chat. Just uh, put it in there. Also, hit the, the like button for us, please, so we can bring some more people into the discussion. Uh, so it looks like we have about 16 likes, which is great. Uh, looks like it's working. Yes, yes, it's working. That's good. We might do a mock giveaway too one more time, just so I want to see if we, if we can buy points and all that. Uh, so we might do that as well at the very end, the very end of the video, uh, just to make sure that, that our thing is working. Uh, but yeah, so let's see here. Let's go ahead and, and work our way down. All right, so questions. If you guys have questions, go ahead and put it in the chat at this time. 
so we can we can go off the uh, points you guys or the info that you guys have there. And I think I want to flip my screen around. Let's see here. Yeah, I just like looking at this. It's a little easier on the eyes here. Okay, yeah, that works. That works. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to kind of breeze through these. So if you guys have questions, just put at TEC. If you don't put at TEC, then I, I usually kind of skim the question, but I will just keep going. Uh, so I might not answer your question. I want to make sure I answer your question. Uh, so if you do have it, put just put at TEC at the very beginning. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, Nate and Jess is saying we're doing good. We're staying at the Hyatt Place. Uh, let's see. Hyatt Place Garden of the Gods in Colorado Springs uh, for a few nights. Cool. That is cool. I uh, went on a hike today with our son in... Bajorn carrier. See, I don't know anything. I don't have any kids. So I don't even know what these, this carrier, I guess, is probably one of those things you, like a little harness on the front there uh, for the first time. Had a good time. Cool. So they went on a hike, and now they're at the uh, Hyatt Place. Wow, that's cool. Okay. And like I said, I, I, I'm a huge fan of Hyatt Place. I was watching um, Ernest and, and um, Ask Sebi. They did like a little collab. Uh, so I was watching the collab. I think they, I think they put it out yesterday or maybe the day before yesterday. Really, really good video. So if you guys want, you, you guys should go over there and check out their channels. Uh, they did a collab. So one, so Asebi has one of the videos, and and um, Trip Astute, uh, Ernest from Trip Astute, he has another, he has his as well uh, on his channel. So check it out. They're different videos, but check it out. Let me let me do something real quick here. Yeah, I just need to. Okay, so. Yeah, check out their videos. They're really good, but they talk about uh, kind of the United ecosystem, or United, I'm sorry, the Chase ecosystem, and then they talk a little bit about Hyatt Place, uh, which, like I said, I, I, Hyatt Place is one of the, the, the best for, for, for your points. It's the best place to stay. I mean, it really, you can really do a good, uh, it, it's a real good setup. I mean, it really is. You get the free breakfast. So if you have a, especially, and I tell this to people who have families and they're traveling, uh, you want to look for Hyatt Place because you get the free breakfast and you get like you have a nice size room. It's not a small hotel room, so you'll have you'll always have. Now I've only stayed in one. Is it one? Yeah, only one uh, Hyatt Place where they had they didn't have it sectioned off. It was just pretty much one room. That was the 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 Hyatt Place I stayed in in uh, in Thailand. But the only thing when it comes to Thailand is we had our own room anyway because it's so cheap. It's like $50 a night. So if you really needed to go that, that route, let's say you, you were staying at Hyatt Place, or let's say you were staying in Thailand, and we were in Phuket, Thailand. Uh, it, yeah, they didn't have it, it wasn't separated. It was just a regular hotel room, but it was so cheap. Like if you have a family, you could get two rooms and just have them adjacent to each other. And that's what we did. We had the suite in between. Uh, or we had the you know the whole suite, so you just open the door and then you can lock the door. That kind of setup. So, fifty bucks a night—that's really really affordable. But uh, Hyatt Place, really nice properties, and they generally will have like a, a good, nice size room where you have it sectioned off. You have a little, even a little half divider, so you have a sleeping area. Then you also have an area where you can kind of sit down and lounge and do things. They also have a little desk in there, so if you need to do business and, and stuff like that, and you're with your family, you need to do business, you have an area where you can work. Uh, fridges they usually have, and uh, usually a nice size TV, a decent sized bathroom, and uh, they have the bathroom, so you go you, the, the shower and the toilet in you know, behind the door, like it has a closed door, and then you have your sink and everything in the area that's uh, outside of the, of the bathroom. So if you needed to, to do, you know, get ready, you can get ready there, and then you can have people in the shower at the same time. So the way they have it set up is really nice, and then the free breakfast, I mean, it's, that, that's, that's a huge thing, especially if you have a family. Uh, you, you have a place you can go down, you can eat, and then start your day. So I, I just really can't say enough good things about it. Uh, and it was just funny because I'm, I'm watching, it, watching them and I'm like, yes, yes, high place. I'm telling you, it's great. Uh, and that it, the fact that it works with, with uh, Chase, with the Chase ecosystem, uh, is another huge plus. I mean, because now I can transfer my points right over there and I can look 
I can seek out category ones and know that it's going to be 5,000 points uh, a night. So that's good. Okay. Uh, let's see. All right. Let's move on here. Yeah, but I'm a huge, huge fan of Hyatt. That's for sure. Okay. So any questions specifically for me, just put at TEC. And you guys are talking a lot about Hyatt in here. <laughs> and I'm not sponsored by Hyatt. I don't have any. I wish I did. <laughs> I wish I did. So Hyatt, if you're listening. No, I mean, it's, yeah, I just, I've always, I've always liked staying at Hyatt. And I took some time. I, I recommend you do this if you, when you're just starting out uh, with, with travel. Uh, not, not if you, if, even if you're not doing points or anything like that. Stay at the different hotel chains so you can kind of see, get a feel for how their customer service is, how the rooms are generally, and uh, the, the overall experience that you get. Customer service is number one when it comes to what I'm looking for. Uh, so I should say it's number one. It's the top two. So um, I kind of, basically the room obviously is <laughs> number one. So is the room clean? Does it have a, a comfortable bed? And uh, th those are those are real things that I, I mean. It's a clean, comfortable bed. I'm good, and a, and a warm shower. I should say that too. Uh, I'm good, but uh, then customer service is right behind that. I mean, customer service needs to be it needs to be there. So if you have an issue, you can call them, and you know that they're gonna they're gonna take care of you. In that sense, I'm I'm very easy when it comes to like I, I'm only gonna call you as far as customer service. I'm only gonna call you if I really need something. So uh, I'm not one of those people that's just calling just to complain about things that are really things that I can live live without or live with or however you want to say it. Like, for example, the last time I stayed at a high place, <laughs> they, for whatever reason, they upgraded me, but they upgraded me to a room with bunk beds. So it had the regular the regular bed and then it had bunk beds, which I thought was really weird. And it's funny, I, I, did a, I, I did a video or a live stream, or I think it was a live stream. I can't remember, but uh, I, no, no, I did a walkthrough. Oh, it was on the WhatsApp group. Yeah, I did a walkthrough in the WhatsApp group, and I just showed this room and has bunk beds. So it just looked a little weird. So I did, I mean, I did tell them, hey, I don't need, because I didn't, like, I don't need a bunk bed. It's just me. I was there for a convention for, for three days. And I didn't need a bunk bed. And so I, in my mind, I'm thinking, hey, you can move me to another room. It's not a big deal. Uh, the rooms are pretty, it's pretty much the same size. So they did, they said it was an upgrade, but I think the room was the same size. I don't think it was any bigger or anything like that. I think the, the upgrade was the bunk beds. That's like an upgrade. So I told him, I don't need that. Like I, I, you can easily just put me in another room. And, and so anyway, they said, well, we don't have any rooms available right now. I checked in a little bit early. So we don't have any rooms available right now. But later on, if you come back, then maybe we'll have something. And so I did come back later on. And uh, at that point, they said that they, they were pretty much booked up and they didn't have any room. So I was like, all right, that's fine. I'm not going to. And they said, well, you know, you can, we can check tomorrow, tomorrow morning. I'm like, that's fine. Once I get unpacked, I'm unpacked. And I was in a situation where I, I just checked in put my bags down, and I went out to the convention. So I was there for a few hours and then came back. And so it wasn't that big of a deal, uh, but it was just a little weird how <laughs> they have bunk beds in this room. All right, uh, let's, let's see. And mind you, it's in Anaheim, uh, right next to Disneyland. So that I think that all played a role as far as why they had bunk beds. Uh, but it was kind of a first for me to be in a room with a bunk bed. Okay. All right, let's see. Where are we here? Okay, so Nate and Jess, <laughs> you guys are funny. So um, they're <laughs> saying the best way. So let's see. Uh, we know the best way to survive long flights is to jump on the TEC live chat. <laughs> yeah, because I'm like talking for three hours. There's your three-hour block right there, <laughs> your first three hours. Uh, jump on a live stream. If you can get internet on the on the plane, that would be good. <laughs> All right, I think if you have like YouTube one of them you can download. You can download, uh, I think you could, on one of the YouTube plans, you can download a video. I've never done that before, but I don't, I don't have those, one of those plans, but I think you can do that. Okay. 
awesome. David Tenney's looking forward to listening to the tips. Yeah, and I want to know what you guys think as far as your long haul fights. How do you guys do it? Uh, what seats do you prefer too? So put that in there too. Uh, like I said, I prefer that. I prefer that window seat. If I can get a window seat, I, even if it's not a long flight, I like to sit by the window. It's just kind of my uh, my thing. So if I can sit by the window, I'm really happy with that. I don't like sitting in an aisle seat. That's the worst seat to sit in, especially if there's a long long haul flight, because you really can't sleep if you wanted to. I would rather sit on a long haul flight. Believe it or not, I'd rather sit in the middle seat um, compared to the aisle seat. I don't like people walking by, constantly walking by, um, hitting you, uh, or not, maybe not even hitting you, just even walking by, like you feel these people walking by constantly, so you can't really, I can't get comfortable to sleep. Uh, and I'm generally, I don't have to go to the restroom very often, so I know it's good to get up and kind of move around, and that's another thing I didn't talk about. Uh, I, I will try to get up every once in a while uh, to move around, uh, and you, you can kind of, like I said, I very rarely have to go to the restroom when I'm on a plane. I'm able to, and I'm not even really holding it, but I kind of plan for a long trip. So I'm not drinking a lot of water and things like that, uh, which I know I should be, <laughs> but generally I don't drink too much water or anything like that. So uh, Braveheart, what's going on, buddy? We got a super chat from Braveheart. Uh, you are not late, man. You are right on time. Thank you very much. I appreciate the super chat. And uh, let's see, <laughs> if you have any questions or anything like that, please go ahead and uh, put it in the chat there, Braveheart. But thank you for the super chat, man. I appreciate it. All right, let's see. So, yeah, so definitely a window seat. That's where I want to be on, a, on any flight, but especially if it's a long haul flight, because you can just get in there and just not, you're not being interrupted or anything generally, as long as you have a seat mate that is, <laughs> that is okay and not not uh, waking you up and bumping you and all that. Uh, I, another thing, too, when it comes to just long flights, you, you want to you wanna hope that your surrounding neighbors are, uh, let's see, what's the word, polite and mindful of the fact that you're going to be on this long flight. And, and it's just sometimes you get on planes and people are just, crazy and just yeah I've had some some different experiences just sitting next to people on planes that it's like what you gotta be kidding me uh, most situations people are, are pretty courteous and they I mean I've always been courteous when I'm on a plane I'm always mindful of the fact that I'm on a plane I have people sitting next to me so there are certain things that you just don't do and you have people behind you kicking your seat and things like that uh, kids crying you can't you can't avoid that obviously um, another thing I didn't talk about, and I don't do this, I'm going to start doing this. So I want to know what you guys, because this might be probably one of, uh, one of the things you guys have, but like the noise canceling earphones. I generally, I've only, I bought one pair and it wasn't an expensive pair. Let's just say that. I didn't really see a need for them, but I bought one pair. I just wanted to kind of test them out and see how they work. So this is a couple, a couple years ago. And it was these noise canceling earphones. I bought them. I, I didn't pay very much for them, maybe fifty or sixty bucks. And I was on the plane. I had that. I had them, you know, on. And I think I fell asleep. And when I woke up, I felt like nauseous. Like I had to. I, like I almost felt like I had to throw up. Uh, so I don't know. Maybe it's because I had this cheap pair and I had them going on, and they were really messing with my ears or, or something. But it made me, when I woke up, I felt like really sick. And so since then, I've, I haven't used them anymore. I, well, obviously, the ones that, that, that I had, I don't use those anymore. Uh, but I've never got any other, another pair because I'm thinking, well, if I get another pair, I want to get like a higher quality. Uh, the ones that I had my eye on, I still have my eye on. Uh, but they're expensive. It's 250 bucks for the um, the Sony, but they're the in ear ones. Those are the ones that I'm that I'm interested in. The other ones that I had, they were the over the ear, and I don't like I don't like carrying those. That's my main thing. Like I don't like carrying that because I, first first off, I want to be able to put as much camera equipment in the, in my bag as possible, and it just those, those things are bulky, and it just takes up so much space that I don't like I don't usually like carrying uh, that bet that little case. So the smaller earbuds, which I just got these, these um, Tazo, the little small ones, 
and they're not noise canceling, but those things are really nice. You can just put them inside your ear. You can have one, just have it in one ear if you want to do that. Really convenient. Something I never thought I would would need, but I really like them. And the fact that they're in this little case that you can close the case up and and it charges while it's in the case. I think that's just, yeah, I, I swear by those things now and I've only had it for like a month. And those things are just, I, I use them all the time. I'm at work, I'll have one in. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, wherever I go, I have it. I'm, I'm, I go uh, bike riding, when I go bike riding, I have one in, in, in one ear. Uh, it's just, those things are good, really good. Okay. Let's see, let's work our way down here. And I'm glad, I'm happy, hopefully the points are still working. I haven't gotten down to the bottom yet, but I did see some of the scrolls, so I saw that, uh, that they were working. And let's hope that keeps working. Uh, because I started thinking about that, and I was like, oh wow, that, that, that would be a problem if people can't use these points or buy. Now I wanna make sure that people are able to buy points too, so I'm gonna open up uh, at the very end of the show, I want to open up a little uh, giveaway thing. We're not going to do a giveaway. It's going to be a test giveaway, but I just want to make sure it works. I'm one of these people that checks it once, checks it twice. I, I keep checking just to make sure it works because I don't want to get up to next week and then we're not able to do anything uh, because of that. Or it, it's not going to happen. It, th th I will have a plan B. So if the, even if that means, <laughs> I don't know, like there's some random generators that you can get, like uh, websites you can go to that will scramble and you know give you a random uh, thing so we'll, we'll still be able to do it but i'd like to be able to do everything through here so all right guys if you guys are in the building please hit the like button if you have not done so so we can bring some more people in uh to the to the discussion also hit the subscribe button i've been getting a really the last couple of days the last couple of videos that i put out have been really you know, they've gotten a real good response uh so usually when you get when you have when you put out a couple of videos and they get a really good response then you'll get you'll get a lot of subscribers, like kind of a, I shouldn't say a lot. Yeah, you get, you see an increase in subscribers. So uh, please hit the, uh, hit the like button. Also, if you're new here, we talk about travel reward credit cards. We talk about how to use travel reward credit cards. So if you are a beginner, especially if you're a beginner, you want to subscribe to this channel because I put out information, just videos, and then we also come off live streams. You're probably going to get more information from live streams than anything else because it's, it, it, you're going to get a lot of information from the chat, okay? So you can ask questions uh, to me, to the chat. So there's always, I remember when I first started, and even to this day, there are a lot of questions that I have about travel credit cards and different credit cards because most people, we focus on the credit cards that we have or the ecosystem that we have. So uh, because I have the Chase ecosystem, I focus more on that. I'm more knowledgeable about the Chase ecosystem. System. I can tell you the different cards. I can tell you how they work for the most part. And I can tell you how to do certain transfers as far as transferring your points to different, uh, to United or to Hyatt and things like that. Because I'm familiar with that, that's what I use for the most part. Now, uh, American Express, I'm not that familiar with American Express. And so what's great here is we have people in the chat that have American Express uh, credit cards and use those cards and earn points and, and redeem their points so they can help you uh, as well. So you have, we have a, a group of people that are, that are in here that can help. So if you are new to the channel, uh, definitely subscribe to the channel because you can get a lot of information about, uh, about travel credit cards and how to get started and what cards to get and, and all that good stuff. So, all right, enough of that. Let's go ahead and move on here. See if we have any questions. Now, if I miss your question, first off, put at TEC and do, if I do miss your question, just uh, let me know that I missed a question and you can, <laughs> you can ask the question again. I do not like skimming past questions, but sometimes it does happen. Uh, I, I might be scrolling down and, I, and I, I just miss it for whatever reason. I'm answering another question and, and for whatever reason I miss it. So I'm, I'm, if you put at TEC, I'm not avoiding your question. I will at least address it just so you know that, that I've gotten there. And if I don't know the answer, then I'll, I'll go ahead and let you know, hey, I don't, I don't know the answer to that question. What's up, P. Gill? How you doing, man? Vic, how you guys doing? Or how you doing? Alan, how you doing? HD chilling. What's going on, brother? So HD chilling is in our WhatsApp group. Uh, really, really. Oh, hold up. What did I miss here? Okay, yeah. So HD chilling. Uh, Hardy, he's in our WhatsApp group. Not in our, 
I shouldn't say our WhatsApp group. Now I'm getting all getting you guys confused. So there's a Columbia WhatsApp group. He's in the Columbia WhatsApp group. I think he's in the other WhatsApp group as well. Uh, but uh, really, really good dude. And I'm hoping it's saying it's reconnecting. So if I have totally lost you guys, it looks like I'm back. Okay. So just let me know if I'm if you guys can still see me and all that good stuff. It looked like it just went completely out. Um, hopefully I am still here. If you if you guys don't see me or anything like that, just usually the chat works for whatever reason if you're not seeing me. So if <laughs> if you can't see me, just let me know in the chat. Hey, it's not on. Your internet is is done. But uh, yeah, it looks like I'm looks like I'm back. All right. It's crazy because this big red bar comes up saying that there's no connection. So, yeah, and it looks like I dropped off some people. So, all right. Things happen sometimes, but let's just move forward here. Okay, I've completely lost my place. So, Nika, what's going on? How you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Okay, Dolly, let's see. Uh, let's see. Okay, next to the window, watch movies. Okay, so Dolly's saying she likes to sit next to the window, watch movies, listen to music, uh, have an amazing neck pillow and a blanket, uh, put on fuzzy socks and knock out. Uh, I tell the person next to me not to wake me up uh, for the food. Okay, cool, cool. So Dolly doesn't like to be interrupted at all. And that's perfect for people who, like if you sit by the window, that's your perfect, the perfect setup because uh, yeah, usually you're not gonna get interrupted uh, and another thing too, yeah, that I like to be comfortable. I guess I should have said that too. I like to dress comfortably when I when I fly. Uh, that's just you. So I like to wear loose fitting clothes. Uh, I do wear these shirts like I tell like I told you guys because it has the pockets. I can put all the all my stuff up top here uh, in the front pockets. And it's Velcro, and then I also have a little zipper so I can put my my passport and stuff like that. Uh, so I have everything. I can access everything from up here. But uh, I, yeah, I like to dress, dress comfortably. And so I will wear jeans, but uh, mo in most situations, I, w I, I, I like to take my shoes off too. Like it, for whatever reason, you take your shoes off, you just feel a little more comfortable. Feel more like you're, I don't know. I can't sleep with my shoes on, let's just put it that way. <laughs> I guess that's weird, but, well, not really weird. Anytime you're in bed or, or even laying on the couch and you fall asleep, usually you'll have your shoes on. So I don't, uh, I like to take my shoes off too. So that's, that's another thing. It's just getting them back on is always a struggle when you're on a plane. Okay. Uh, <laughs> HD Chillin said, I hate when they wake me up on, uh, for anything. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Thanks, Dolly. Thank you for, uh, thank you for, curating our our discussion here i always like how dolly will say hey you know make sure you like the video make sure you comment put tec all that i like that dolly. i like that you do that thank you very much all right so looking at the points okay so it looks like they are working that's good i'm going through the i'm just finally getting to, down to that point where i'm seeing it so that is cool i'm glad to see that working i think i just didn't have it on last time um i have to open up the open up a, a certain application there's like two applications that I need to open up while I do it. I think I didn't have it on last time. And then when I tried to open it up later, it just didn't work. Uh, or couldn't update, I guess. Okay. Jessica, what's going on? How you doing? I survived long haul flights by making sure the baby is fed and I'm happy. Or the bed, oh wait, make sure the baby is fed and happy. Uh, we head to Priority Pass restaurants before our flight. Uh, so we are fed and full, so everything, everyone is happy. Yeah, I guess that's another thing too. If you get just eat so much, you're like in a food coma. That would be good too. Well, you don't want to eat too much. Another thing too, like I'm very, very, how can I say? Uh, I don't really experiment with food when I have a long haul flight. Let's just put that, put it that way. I want to make sure I'm eating something that I'm familiar with. So even if you go to restaurants and stuff nowadays, I mean, I've been to a lot of different restaurants, so usually it's not it's not uh, new to me. But I don't want to eat like new food, something that I'm not familiar with and that I don't know how my body will react to. Uh, so I want to I want to eat something that that's pretty familiar. Uh, and so there are certain situations if there's not a lounge or I'm not going to a restaurant or anything like that, I will like I said, I'll bring food. I'm bringing food that I'm familiar with. 
Uh, so that, that's, a, that's another thing. Uh, if I'm not flying business class or first class and I'm not really looking forward to eating on the plane, then I'll make sure that I'm full. Just like, like they were, like Jess, uh, Jessica and, and Nate are saying, make sure you're full. That way you don't have to worry about what's on the plane and you can kind of just relax and, and uh, just enjoy the flight. Okay, also having a nice height room uh, ready when you land seems to be good for the night. Yeah, that's true. That is true. And a lot of, and this is, goes with, with uh, most hotels, but I know like with Hyatt, they usually have shuttles. At any major airport, they're gonna have a shuttle that will, will uh, take you from the airport to the hotel. Uh, that's another, another way to save money and uh, save a headache. So you don't have to worry about, oh, how do I get to the airport, or how do I get to the hotel and uh, wait, try to flag down cabs or so. So I usually will find that out before. And if it's Hyatt, and in my experience, either they will have a shuttle or they have a taxi service that will give you a discount. And so something that, that, that you, should, you should call that hotel prior to, to uh, getting there and just find out what their, what their setup is. And so, uh, for instance, when I was in Hawaii, I stayed in Oahu, Oahu for two days, and we stayed at a Hyatt place. And so I waited. I, I don't know. I just assumed they had a shuttle, but they didn't. So when I got, when I touched down in Oahu, I just called Hyatt and uh, asked if they had a shuttle. I said, no, we don't have a shuttle, but we have a taxi service, and they will bring you at a discounted rate. And so that's what I did. So I had the taxi come, and it was it was discounted. I can't remember how. I think it was was it wasn't cheap. It was like I think it was still like twenty nine dollars or something like that, twenty five dollars. But it, they said it would be like sixty dollars, like fifty fifty something dollars, uh, to go from Oahu from the airport to uh, to uh, the hotel. So uh, it wasn't. A, I mean, it's not like it was probably. I want to say it was like 40 minutes, like 40 minutes away. Maybe not quite that long, but it was, it was a little, it was a little drive. It wasn't right around the corner or anything like that. So yeah, make sure you do that. And I don't, even if it's not high, you're staying in another hotel. I've always, I see the different um, shuttles that will come around. So that's something, a way you can save money uh, by doing that. You just tip the, the shuttle. You don't have to pay anything. It's not like a fee for the shuttle. So that's, that's a good way to go. Okay. All right, let's move on down here. Okay, Nate and Jess, you said, I thought about changing the name uh, to Hyatt Master Nate, Je <laughs> Nate and Jess, Epic Travels. <laughs> yeah, you guys are going to be battling back and forth. You're going to have Team Amex and, and Hyatt, Team Hyatt, and and I mean, no, no one's really jumping on the whole United thing, which is, is uh, I, totally understandable. Like, I use United because it works with the Chase ecosystem. That's the only reason that I'm using United at this point. Uh, I'm not like a huge United fan, but when I do look at the three legacy carriers, I, I, I gave American Airlines a, a shot and I just didn't like the customer service. So I'm, I'm happier with United's customer service at this point. Uh, that doesn't mean that I wouldn't jump over and, and go to Delta at some point. And I'm talking about the legacy carriers. Now, my favorite airline out of all of them is JetBlue uh, at this point. Uh, I really like JetBlue. I also like um, Alaska Airlines, but I don't fly them very often. So JetBlue I have more experience with, and I love the fact that they have the even more seats. I love that. I mean, that, that is, uh, you don't have the first class or business class for the most part. They do certain flights, you'll have the mint class, so that's good uh, business class. But uh, for the most part, they don't have that, but they have the even more seats. You can pay a little extra, have a seat with some more leg room, which I really appreciate when I'm on a on a flight that's, that's a long flight. So uh, let's see here. And I, I guess I didn't really talk that much about, I, I told you there's a difference. If I'm flying business class, it's a little different than if I'm flying uh, economy. Uh, but some of the differences, I still kind of do the same routine. But the fact that you have time where you can sleep, uh, lie, you know, have the lie flat seat. So I might push up things. So when I say push up things, I might do the resting and watching TV at the same time, if that makes sense. So that lasts six hours of the flight. So let's, those two, three hour blocks, the last part, I might just go ahead and lay that seat all the way back and just relax and maybe watch a little TV while I'm laying in bed, uh, in essence. Uh, so I do, I might do that as well. So, 
All right, let's see. Let me move my little volume up just a little bit. Always, every time I look at this volume, it bothers me when it's a little too low. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's move on here. Okay. Rolo, what's going on, buddy? Nice to see you, man. Wise flies, what's going on, brother? Hey, wise flies. So I, I'm gonna hit you. Hopefully you're still in the room, but uh, I want to have you on the show, buddy. So I know I haven't. Uh, I was I was actually gonna send out some emails uh, a couple of days ago. I was up early right before work, and I was going to send out some emails, but I got busy. But uh, Wise Flies, I want to have you on the show, man. I know we've done some collabs in the, in the past, but uh, I definitely want to have you on. So uh, I'll reach out to you after this, after this video or this live stream, and uh, we'll talk about it. Because I, I really want to bring you on the show so you can kind of tell us about your channel and tell us about how you use points. Uh, so Wise Flies, if you guys don't know, he does have a channel. So jump on over to his channel, not right this second. Just open up a, a new tab and then check him out as soon as, uh, as, soon as you guys are done uh, watching the live stream. Uh, but yeah, he's got some really good information and he does a lot of collaborations. He actually reached out to me a couple months ago and we did a, we did a couple of collabs. So a uh, real good channel, real good channel. You want to check him out. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's see. Wise flies is David. I was talking about. Okay, yeah, cool, cool, yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Why? How I bounced offline and then came back real quick. I don't know what was going on there. Um, obviously, it's an internet issue, but uh, yeah, I appreciate. I appreciate you letting me know that, Braveheart. Okay, Wise Flies, hey everybody, I'm loving the live stream so far. Uh, how's everyone doing? All right, let's go ahead and move on here. Oh, Wise Flies, that's a good point too. Like, I mean, I'm I'm six foot. I my legs usually my knees are up against the seat in front of me if I'm sitting economy, but I've never had a need. To even like, like even if it, if it's tight, I can always stretch my legs just straight out, so I don't have my knees up. But yeah, I've never I've never had the need to have an aisle seat because I don't have enough room um, when it comes to my legs. Usually I'm, I'm usually I'm okay. And then I'll do like a if I'm sitting economy, I'll kind of do a if I'm sitting next to the window, I can always lean up against the window. So I lean up against the window and kind of just you know, lean on the one cheek and then I can kind of stretch my right leg all the way out. And so I have a little, little bit of room that way. Uh, another thing I do too, and this is with JetBlue. I, I do this with JetBlue all the time. Uh, I'll, I'll do it on other airlines if they, if they offer it, but you know, they have the even more seats with JetBlue. And what I'll do is I'll wait. So I'll book my, my regular flight, regular seat, window seat usually, and then I'll wait till the day that I'm flying, and I will check. And I know JetBlue doesn't do the 10-hour flights, right? So they're, we're usually six hours or, or less. Uh, but still, I'll wait until that day. And usually when you do the 24-hour, when you're, when you're getting your boarding pass, you, you know, you're, you're checking in 24 hours prior to your flight, uh, they will always push the, the even more seats. And so I'll look at them at that time. I'll look to see what's available, and I'll try to find a row that is empty. So you have aisle, middle, and, and, um, and window. So I'm looking for that with an even more seat. And believe it or not, there, a, lot, and a lot of times people don't, they don't pay that extra to do the even more seat. I, it's worth it for me. And usually, I, I, like I can't think of a time where I, even if it's, it could, because it, usually, it could be like $80 uh, at some point or in, on some flights, but usually I'll just pay it. I'll pay it because most, most of the times I'm either using points or I've already paid for my flight uh, prior to. So an extra $80, I mean, I'm not a big baller, but for comfort, I'll pay that extra $80 just to, to fly with a little more leg room. So I'll wait till the day and then I'll go ahead and pick the seat. I'll pick it with there's open row because usually what happens is no one's going to buy that middle seat. 
or pay extra for that middle seat. So if they get upgraded to the middle seat, then they'll do that, but they're not gonna pay extra for it. So a lot of times you have, you, it's available. So like you, you have that seat open next to you. And so that's a big, that's a big uh, deciding factor too when I'm uh, booking my, when I'm doing my, checking my, getting my boarding pass 24 hours prior to. All right. Let's see here. <laughs> Name Jess, food coma is a good way to describe it. Yeah, get that food coma going and and I don't know about you, but anytime I eat, I'm ready to, to, to if I eat a lot, I'm ready to sleep. <laughs> so, and usually when you're on a plane, you're not gonna eat that much because they're gonna bring the little, you know, little fancy food, especially if you're sitting in business class, first class. They do the little fancy food, but it's usually not a lot of food. Uh, Rolo, I'm 6'3", and I always sit in the aisle. Uh, if sitting in the economy so I can stretch out uh, at least one leg, uh, but I will sit window if I sit first class or premium economy uh, in the front. Yeah, so, and that, that's another thing too, when it comes to business class, first class, or certain seats, and if you go on Sea Guru, you'll be able to find this out. You can see your plane, so you'll know exactly how the, the seats play out. So before I book a flight, I go to see Guru, and when you go and see Guru, the good thing about it is I can type in the the um, the airplane, the flight number, and the day that I'm flying out, and they will show you, show me my plane, and uh, so that's good because then you know the layout. And so when I'm looking at a plane, there's certain first class, business class seats that are better than others. Some of them have you have more privacy, so you don't have like let's say it's. Uh, even if some of the life life seats, you'll be in your own row and you don't have anyone next to you. Whereas you can get some seats where they, there's someone next to you. So you, you can look at that, you'll get a window seat, you're facing out, like you can get a window seat that's facing out. They also have seats that face in. So I always like to get the seat that faces out where I have the windows there and I'm secluded. I'm facing that way and that, you know, you have a little bit more privacy. You're not looking at anyone, they can't really see you. Uh, so. Something to think about, especially, I mean, if you're using points to fly business class or first class, you want to have a good experience. So you want to do a little bit of research prior to, to uh, booking that, uh, that seat. Okay. Uh, Shaq, what's going on? Smash the like button. Yes, please smash that like button. So if you guys are in here, please hit the like button. Our, we're on, <laughs> we're, our goal is to hit 50 likes uh, for, per video. So if you can do that, that would be really, really good and really help out our, our channel as far as the algorithms and YouTube will promote. Anytime I go on live, YouTube will promote it because I'll know, okay, people like this content. Uh, so let's promote it out to more people. Uh, so if you can please hit that like button, I'd really appreciate it. Michael, what's going on, buddy? <laughs> Shut up, Streamlabs. What, what are they doing? Are they, are they blocking some people or what? I uh, just, uh, yeah, so there, <laughs> I'm still trying to fine tune this whole thing. So if you write something, I, I've taken a lot of the things that StreamBot does in the background off, so you should be okay, but there might be problems here or there where you type something in and it thinks that you're using profanity or something and it'll give you a warning and it might time you out for a minute. Uh, hopefully that doesn't happen, but <laughs> I'm trying to tweak it. I don't want to completely turn it off because we need to have some type of uh, screening, but I do, I do want to kind of streamline it so it doesn't mess up. Andre and Andrea, what's going on? So Andre and Andrea, they have a YouTube channel as well. You guys want to check them out. Um, Andre right now, I think he's still in the U.S., but he's going to be going back to uh, Colombia. He lives in Colombia with his girlfriend in Cali, Colombia, and they talk about their life in, in Cali, Colombia. So you have an American that's moved to another country and he just goes, he, he talks about his experience in another country. Uh, and they're interracial, international, interracial. I think that's what they kind of say in their, on their video. Uh, but they have a lot of good information. And so you, you want to go over there, especially if you're interested in maybe being an expat or something like that. It's really good information. Uh, that they have on their on their channel. So check them out. Andre and Andrea love crossing borders. All right, let's see. Okay, oh, lost my place here. 
Okay, guys, so if you are, let's see, if you guys have a question, just put at TEC. Okay, so Andrea and Andrea, so you do you use uh, one airline for short flights and another for longer flights? JetBlue is my go-to airline, so if I can fly JetBlue, I will. Now, United is kind of easier for my ecosystem, although, you know, you could transfer points over to JetBlue now. I get better value, though, still using United when it comes to anything long I can't use JetBlue for. Uh, when it comes to flying overseas and, and stuff like that. Until 2021. 2021, guess what? JetBlue, they're, they're in the process of buying some planes that will be able to get them. I think it's the A320 or A321 Plus or something like that, where it can get them to London. And so they're going to start doing flights from uh, New York to London. So that will be interesting. And that will, change, that will change a lot of things because you have the legacy carriers for the longest. They've been dominating or they, they, been, they've been able to dominate that whole market. And now you have an economy airline that will be able to fly to London. And once you get to London, then now you can bounce around uh, from, that, from there. So we'll see how that plays out. And I, like I said, I really swear by JetBlue. So if they can pull this off, it's going to be great. Because I think they'll be able to undercut some of the legacy carriers and we're going to have like a uh, airfare price wars which i think would be great so 2021 is when they're they're slotted to do this so uh, if it's a short haul flight yes JetBlue. if it's longer flights i'm going to go with united and not necessarily flying on united but transferring your points over to united and doing the uh flying on the the their style star alliance partners so that's generally how i'll go when it comes to that Okay, Wayne, what's going on, buddy? Okay, so Brian's saying you're missing the poor man's first class, a bottle of whiskey, and a few <laughs> sleeping pills. Whoa. You know what? That's a bad combination. That is a bad combination. You don't want to be doing that. Uh, you might not wake up. That might be... No. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to do that. So... I, I, and that, that does bring me to a point. I don't drink very often, and, and I'm not drinking on a plane usually. Uh, that I don't need, like, I've never found a need. Like, there's some people that, yeah, they swear by it. They want to kind of, you know, take the, you know, it's less stressful, I guess, <laughs> if, you, if you drink a little bit, kind of wind down that way. Uh, I don't do that. Like, I, I'm, I'm not drinking caffeine and stuff like that to try to stay awake or anything like that. But uh, I'm not drinking alcohol or anything to try to go to sleep. That's just not, uh, it's not worth it. Plus, you don't want to be that drunk guy on the plane. All right. Let's see. Flashpoint Capital, what's going on, Jason? So Jason, he has a YouTube channel. And actually, we're, we do live streams every Monday. So uh, we're doing a show every Monday. So you guys want to stop by. It's uh, generally, what what time did we do it last time? I can't remember now. <laughs> I think we came on at 5, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's when we came on. So we're going to start doing a show every Monday. And so you can come in and, and get some, some information from us. We're going to start having guests on and things like that. So uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. We just had our first show last week, and I think it went really well. Uh, so stop by on Monday. We'll, we'll be doing a live stream. And uh, it'll, it's a variety show. So we'll have topics, different topics. We didn't have a topic this last time, but we will start having topics uh, that we'll talk about. We just need to kind of get down, sit down and say, hey, yeah, let's, let's talk about this or let's talk about that. Uh, but it'll, it'll be a good time. So please stop by on Monday. And we're going to switch from channel to channel. So uh, I don't know if Flashpoint, uh, Jason, I don't know if you're ready to do it, you know, this, uh, this week. But, uh, like, I'll have it on my channel for one week and then he'll have it on his channel and then we'll just kind of switch back and forth like that. Okay, let's see here. Okay, and Andre's, uh, Andre from Andre, Andre and Andrea, uh, he says he's 6'3", and a seat, the aisle seat is a must, yeah. I've, yeah, I've never, and I'm not tall, I'm not that tall, I'm six foot, so he's got a couple, couple inches on me, three inches on me. So yeah, that, that, I, I get it, I get, I get that. I just don't like people walking by me bumping me and stuff like that. So sitting by the window is what works. Okay. All right. 
I'm missing my, I just lost my place here. Let's, let's move on here. Okay, okay. Julio, what's going on, buddy? Wade, how you doing? Scott, what's going on? All right. Move on down here. I'm now over 524. Which travel card should I apply for before the Amex Platinum or Gold? And that is uh, Braveheart asking that. So over 524. So before the Amex Platinum or Gold? So first off, I wouldn't get any. If you, if you don't have any Amex cards right now, don't get any. Right? Like if you... If you're saying before the Amex Platinum, Amex Gold, the, the combination that you want to do if it's Amex period is you want to do Amex Platinum first and try to get the 100,000 sign-up bonus and then go to the Amex Gold. Uh, but other cards that are out there right now, I would look at some hotel, or not, well, you could look at hotel branded cards. So um, you would have to look at the Hilton because you can't go with the, with the Chase. So you can't go with the World of Hyde if you don't have that card already. You can't go with that. But look at some of the airline branded cards too. So... Uh, you, you might be able to go with the city, the Advantage card, or uh, the Delta cards. So you can look into those. Uh, it's just kind of hard. Like, if you're, if you're over 524, that does eliminate all the Chase cards. So the United card is not going to be a, an option for you. You can look at JetBlue. I don't know how, how um, where you're flying to, but JetBlue is always a good option. Alaska Airlines is another really good option. What I like about Alaska Airlines, uh, their their whole program, is the fact that they have, they're they're not a, they don't have an alliance, but they have partnerships with different uh, airlines. So uh, they can you can fly pretty much all over the world uh, with them. You're not going to fly on Alaska Metal. You're going to fly on something else, but they have partners that you that they that they work with. So that that's good. Uh, but yeah, I would look at an airline branded card if you don't have one. And you're a pilot now, or almost, you know, going through your training and all that. So I guess airline credit cards might not be <laughs> your thing because you're going to be able to fly yourself different places. But uh, you can always uh, maybe go with the hotel branded cards. And th that Hilton, that Aspire card, if you don't have that one, that's one that I would, I would really recommend. Yeah, that's an American Express card. So uh, that, that card gives you so much. And I am... I will have that card at some point. I just, right now, I don't have a need for it. Uh, I, I don't fly. I don't fly. <laughs> I don't stay at Hilton's right now. Uh, but at some point, I, I do want to get that card and I'll work that in. Once I start working the, the, uh, the American Express ecosystem, then I, I will. that will be one of the cards that I have. Okay, let's see. All right. Okay, seven central. All right, that's Flashpoint saying that. So seven central. See, I don't know central time. I guess that's five o'clock. I think that's when we did it last time. Five o'clock. James, what's going on? Good to see you. Uh, you have mentioned to transfer chase points to uh, the airlines or hotels. Are you talking about booking through Chase Online, or is there another way to transfer the points? Yeah. Okay, that's a good question. Really good question, James. So you have Travel Portal, and then you also have Transfer Partners. So the travel portal, yeah, that's booking Chase online. So if I just go on Chase and I, and they, I think it's Expedia that they use. You just go in there and you just type in where you want to go, and they will, they'll show you the different flights and and, the, and how many points you're going to need. That's the portal. Uh, that is not if you're flying, especially if you want to fly business class or first class, you're going to want to transfer your points over to that airline uh, or that hotel. And so when you go. Um, I can't. I think it says transfer, transfer points or something like that, uh, it, with the, in, within Chase. Just click on that. It'll bring. It'll open up the different transfer partners that they have, and then you need to link those accounts. So if I have the United Mileage Plus account, uh, I need to link that account to. And it's easy. It's very simple to do. You just need to, your user ID, and I think you need your password or something like that. You just need to kind of sign in. So it just needs to be linked. So. All you're going to do is pull it up, link it, and then once it's linked, you only need to link it once. Once it's linked, then you can just continue transferring points 
uh, to directly to. So uh, case in point, let's say I wanna fly on United. I will go to United first and I will find my flight, like find everything, put all the, the flight number, the, all that information down. And then I'll see how many points it will, uh, that I'll need. And then I'll go back to Chase and then I will transfer the points over. When I'm ready to book, do not transfer points prior to being, prior to, you know, if you haven't decided, if, you, if you're sitting down and you're gonna book your flight, that's when you transfer your points. Don't do it prior to, uh, because what, what can happen is, let's say, let's say I say, oh yeah, you know what, I wanna fly in United, I know I'm gonna fly in United, so I'm just gonna go ahead and transfer 50,000 points over to United. Don't do that because what if, Something comes up, there's a better deal, or you decide, you, you see like a, a good deal where you can just pay cash, and you decide, yeah, I want to do that. Uh, I shouldn't say pay cash. You can, yeah, pay, yeah, I'm saying pay cash, but not actually physically pay cash. Still use your credit card, but I'm just saying like, there's a better deal that's, that's uh, cash, you don't have to use points. And so now you have 50,000 that's locked up in United, you know, in your United account, because you can't transfer back from United to Chase. So one, it's only one transfer. So once I do that transfer, it's, it's done. Uh, there, there's, there's, that transaction's over, I can't go back. So make sure you're ready to book. When you're ready to book, then go ahead and transfer those points over and then do the you know, book it right there. Uh, so you don't wanna have points sitting in, in the account. And I made that mistake and that's the main reason I'm telling you I made that mistake and I transferred points. This is back, I had the City Premier card uh, back in the day, the first card I ever got. Got 50,000 uh, points, transfer those points over to Virgin America, back when it was still Virgin America. And I never, I never, flew, I, I've, to this day, I mean, I've never flown on Virgin America. I have flown on Alaska, and that's only because they, they did the buyout, and so I was able to transfer those points from Virgin America over to Alaska, and then I, I flew on Alaska uh, after that. But prior to that, I mean, doing that, I did it the wrong way. Transfer those points all the way over to, to Virgin America was the wrong thing to do because those points sat for uh, almost a year. They just sat in that account and they're locked. I was locked out, I couldn't bring the points back. So if I needed to use it for a hotel stay or use it to fly on another airline, I couldn't. It was all locked out. And like I said, mistakes that you make as a beginner, that's one of the mistakes that I made. Uh, just thinking, oh yeah, you know what? That will be the airline that I fly on, so I might as well just transfer all my points over there. Well, yeah, it didn't work out. and. Uh, what I didn't know at the time, and what I what I found out, is that a lot of my uh, a lot of my flights. <laughs> I'm seeing this. This is being blocked here, Brian. I, I'll look at it in a second, Brian. Hopefully, I can hope. <laughs> hopefully, I can fix this bot thing. Um, yeah. So a lot of a lot of times, what happens is when you like when, when, you're, when you're a beginner, you don't know and you just do things like that. So you don't want to do that. Don't transfer those points because you don't want to lose, lose those points or have those points tied up where you can't do anything else with them. Uh, it worked out for me in the end though because when I did transfer it over to Alaska, uh, another thing I didn't tell you is it's not, it wasn't a one-to-one -one transfer. Uh, I can't remember exactly what it was. Well, it was half. So I transferred 50,000 over to Virgin America and that 50,000 became 25,000. So I lost all that value, right? Uh, so another big mistake. You wanna make sure it's one-to-one. -one. If it's not one-to-one, -one, you can still do it, but really have a good reason for, for doing that transfer. So I went ahead and transferred it over. It, was, it wasn't one-to-one. -one. It was, so I had 25,000 sitting over there. And uh, fortunately, when I transferred from Virgin America, because Virgin America, their system was a little, their point system was a little different. So even though it was 25,000, it was still worth more on Virgin America because I could fly. I didn't need to use as many points to fly to different, uh, different uh, destinations. Virgin America doesn't fly everywhere though. So because they don't fly everywhere, you're, you're, you're kind of stuck in that sense too. And they didn't have like, uh, there wasn't really any other options. So anyway, uh, I'm going on a tangent with, with this whole thing. Yeah, when you're a beginner, you do make mistakes. And I was, I was fortunate that, Amer that Alaska bought out Virgin America because then they allowed me to transfer and I got a bonus when I transferred my points over to Alaska. And it brought me back up to, it brought me back up, like it was like 53,000 is what I had uh, in the end when I transferred the 25,000 over. So that, that worked out, but yeah. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Okay, let, let's get back in here and see what's going on with the with the bot here. 
Oh, God, let's see. But, yeah, so I, so I hope you understand just answering that question, yes, there's a, there's a difference between the travel portal and transferring your points directly over. Usually you'll get better value. That's when you can really maximize your points if you can transfer them directly over to uh, the airline or the hotel chain. Uh, that's when you'll, you'll make out the best. Uh, so, uh, spe like I said, especially if you want to fly business class, first class, that's the route that you're going to need to go. You don't want to transfer your points, or you don't want to do the travel portal because you're going to use a lot of points to fly business class or first class through the travel portal. Okay, Life for Business, what's going on, buddy? Let's see, do you know anything about the Hidden City business card uh, with City Rewards points? Uh, you should do a show on that one day. Okay, uh, yeah, I don't know about the Hidden City business card. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to look into that some more. If you have information, feel free to, to put a link in there. Okay, so Nate and Jess is saying uh, the Chase Portal is good for hotels, uh, too, with Chase Sapphire Reserve. Okay. So, yes, yeah, something something to look at, too, as far as hotels. I'm very, like, I, I'm kind of straightforward when it comes to hotels. I'm staying at Hyatt or I'm doing Airbnb. It's usually the way that I go. But uh, Nate and Jess is saying check that out with the portals. I, I don't, I generally don't do that. I will check the portal, though, just to see what the prices are for uh, airfare. So I do do that uh, just to just to check, but I I have not used the portal yet to to uh, fly anywhere. Uh, Life for Business is saying City Thank You business card. Okay, I'll, I will check into that. I will check into that. And thank you. And for those of you guys who don't know, if you guys have like things that you want me to do videos on. Feel free to let me know. Put it in the chat. Go to the WhatsApp group. We do have a WhatsApp group. In the in the comments section, uh, the, the first link, the tag link that I put on there uh, has the links to the Facebook group. So we have a Facebook group, uh, the WhatsApp group. Uh, so we have that as well. WhatsApp group, if you want to, like, contact me and talk with me directly, uh, the WhatsApp group is probably the best way to do that because I'm constantly checking that. Uh, it's on my phone. Uh, whereas the Facebook group, I check it from time to time, but I usually do it on the desktop. I don't use my phone uh, usually for Facebook. I just have too much stuff on Facebook. That's that's what I think. I don't know. Uh, like the WhatsApp group, it goes that that anytime I get a notification, it goes right to my phone, and I have it set up that way. But with uh, with the Facebook, I have my personal Facebook. I have a couple of different Facebook. Um, pages and then I have the Facebook group and it's just so many different notifications that I get so I'm not checking that as much as my WhatsApp group so uh, both good places though the Facebook group we have referral links uh, in the Facebook group if you want to add referral links you can do that we have a certain air, a certain section for that uh, so if you do have links you can put them on there and then it's easier to search when you when you're on Facebook uh, it's easier to search than the WhatsApp group so that's something WhatsApp group is just a big um, group text message basically uh, but it, I like it. I, it it's I like it and then I like to just be able to turn it on and just talk <laughs> as opposed to like a, a talk message instead of texting the message okay oh my god you guys are struggling with this bot and I don't I, and I don't know what why it's doing what it's doing so I guess if we can kind of figure that out then maybe I can tell people hey yeah don't do this or don't do that so if you guys see something that may be a reason why it's doing that, uh, just let me know. Let's see. I can open up that. All right. It's Exploring Forum, what's going on, buddy? Uh, does Chase run occasional transfer bonuses uh, like Amex does, for example, 40% bonus right now on membership reward transfers uh, to BA? Um... I have not seen that. Let me know, guys, if, you, if you've had that experience. I haven't seen them do, like, a, a bonuses for transfers. Uh, let's see. Justin's saying they do. Uh, Chase has done that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I just haven't, haven't experienced that. <laughs> Brian's saying it's priority pass foul language now. I think it's not even the, the the priority pass. It might be the dot 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 or something that you put in there. 
that it, it might look at. I don't know. I don't know exactly what it's, what it's doing. It, it, yeah, it, it'll, ask, it, it'll ask me if you wanted to you know, block profanity and stuff like that. And I put block profanity, but I don't know exactly what it looks for. I think I can kind of dial it down so it's not so strict. And that's might be that might be what I'll do uh, for the next live chat, so we won't have the bot coming up and uh, messing with everyone. Okay. All right. <laughs> you guys are funny. <laughs> oh man, thanks for subscribing, Luke. Luke Stone, thank you for subscribing, buddy. Thank you for joining. Joining our team here on uh, at Travel Explore, click. Let's see, is it is it uploading everything here? Okay, yeah, he's on there. All right, so Luke, if you look down below, you'll see that your uh, your name is in our little marquee down there. So thank you for subscribing to the channel. Let's see. Up. Oh. And Andre and Andre just sub to uh, Flashpoint. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for doing that, Andre. Okay, Explorer 4, my beef, for, my beef with portals is the fixed redemption rate. Are you redeeming at a rate that they want you to redeem at? Uh, thus, they control your earn and rate and burn, your earn rate and burn rate uh, versus seeking max return via transfer. Yeah, I agree with you, Explorer Informed. Yeah, they, they set the rate, but if you're doing, like, if you do your your research and you're transferring your points over, you can find different little loopholes where you can really maximize your points, transferring your points over. So, yeah, I, I agree with that. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, and I can't... I, <laughs> you guys are funny. Okay, Chase had a bonus for British Airways. All right, okay. All right, guys, any other questions, go ahead and put it in the chat uh, so we can talk about it. And, and David, David, David. <laughs> David has a daily reminder that uh, the Sapphire cards are overrated. <laughs> All right. I like my Chase. I like my Chase Sapphire Reserve. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so Brian's saying, uh, what do you value the party pass at uh, per year? That is a good question. I never really thought about it like that as far as a value per year. Obviously, it's going to dep depend on how much you travel. I travel three to four times per year. So let's just say on the high end, so four times per year. I'm going to give it a value. If I can go to a restaurant at least once on that, that trip, then that's $30 right there. And then any, anytime I go to a lounge, I usually value it at about 7 to $8 uh, just going to the lounge because I know I'm going to get water and refreshments and, and some snacks. Uh, so if I'm at an airport and I have to pay for that stuff, usually it's going to be around that 7 or $8. So... That's kind of what I value that each trip. So let's round it out. Let's say, let's say we have we get forty dollars value each time that I travel, and that's being very conservative. Uh, so uh, four trips times forty was that one hundred and twenty, one hundred and sixty. So one hundred and sixty dollars per year uh, value, which I think yeah, I think that's pretty fair. So that's not bad. I mean, if you think about, uh, let's just look at the Chase Sapphire Reserve. Let's say I travel four times a year. I get that uh, that hundred and sixty dollars value out of the Priority Pass for, by traveling four times per year, and I have the Chase Sapphire Reserve. So Chase Sapphire Reserve right out of the gate, you're going to get the three hundred dollar travel credit, and then you get one hundred and sixty dollars. Well, there's your that's four hundred and sixty dollars right there. You're already um, plus what ten dollars so uh, you've you've taken care of your annual fee for the year and you have an additional ten dollars and then you work on all the other 
benefits that you can use. And like I said, that's being really conservative when it comes to the, the priority pass if you're using the restaurant credit. Now, if you're not using the restaurant credit, yeah, it's a, it's a little different because then that value will drop down uh, per year. But usually now I, I do a lot of research before I fly. And one of the things that I look for is priority pass lounges and priority pass restaurants. So I'm looking at that when I'm booking my flight. So I'm thinking, okay, well, yeah, I want to fly out of this air, airport, which is not, it's not hard for me because I live uh, near some pretty big cities, pretty big airports. So actually Los Angeles airport is the only one that I, that I really fly out of. So Los Angeles airport, I fly out of there. I know that there, I think at least, there are at least two, I think there are three restaurants there at Los Angeles airport that I can use the credit with. Yeah, that, there, there are three. So the three that I can use the credit with, and I'll use that credit every time that I, that I fly out of there, as well as uh, they have some pretty decent lounges to it uh, at LAX. So that's a good setup. And then when I'm on my way back, then I just kind of have to go with what's available uh, as far as the, air, the airport that I'm flying out of. Okay. So, and, that, and that's another thing, like when people do talk about value, like how do you get that, that annual fee? And, and I, I've put it out there in the last couple of videos I talked about uh, just the fact that you're getting, be, even though you're paying an annual fee, you're getting that back. And you, you should, if you're working it right, if you do the research and you work it right, then you're, you're going to be able to recoup that annual fee and, and get some money on, on you know, like, that, like I said, free money. And I understand, I, I, and some people were putting in the comments uh, section as far as, you know, nothing's free, and I get it. Yeah, nothing, nothing is free, you're right. You do have to do a little work to get it, okay? But it's, for me, it's worth the work. It is worth the work. So it, it, it's, it's free in the sense that I'm not, I'm, do, I'm, I'm doing a little extra to get it, but what I'm doing is not, you know, what, how can I say that? Oh, man. Like a sale. Let's say if you're going to a department store and you have to go out of your way a little bit to go to this department store in order to get a good sale. Uh, that's what I equate it to. So I'm, I'm saving money by going to this different department store, but I might pass a few department stores in order to get there. So in essence, it's not free because I'm paying a little more in gas in order to get there, I guess you can say. So you do have to do some extra steps in order to, to get these, um, these points that will turn into free money or free benefits, uh, but it's worth it uh, for me to do that. Uh, so uh, yeah, that, that's, it's not free, but in essence, it's, it's, you're getting something for very, very little work. Okay, let's see. Oh, guys. <laughs> All right, we're going to have Mike and, <laughs> Mike and Dave are going to be getting into, this, getting into a discussion there about Amex and, and Chase. Yeah, and I always say this. I always say this. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it really doesn't because we all have different different needs when it comes to uh, credit cards, travel credit cards. So you might have needs. Like I, I love Chase mainly because I like I like Hyatt, <laughs> and it's an easy transfer partner, uh, easy to transfer points over to Hyatt. So I, that's one of the reasons that I really like Chase, and I can deal with United. United is, is you know, it's, it's been fine. Uh, so that's another reason I like Chase. I like Chase because it's easy to use their, their credits. Uh, the, the Chase Sapphire Reserve, using those, the travel credit, it's easy to use. I like that. So that fits my, my lifestyle or my needs. Whereas American Express might fit, might fit your needs. So I don't really look at the card. Like when it comes to American Express and Chase, I think they're at the same level. Uh, but it just depends on what you want to use it for and what you like. Like if you do like a Hyatt, like staying at Hyatt, or you like flying on United, or you like some of the other benefits that that um, Chase offers, then go with Chase. But if you like staying at Hilton and you like that whole setup uh, using the different transfer partners, uh, airline transfer partners that American Express has, then go with American Express. So you just kind of have to... to uh, 
to fill out that whole thing. All right, let's see. Uh, Vic, he's saying, let's say a lounge has a value of fifty dollars or more. So, and that and that's Vic saying that. I don't. If you're talking about priority pass lounges, I don't agree. <laughs> I don't think it's fit. Not each t not each time. Like, uh, yeah, I I don't value the lounges that high. I really don't. And the main reason for that is they're not generally you're not getting a full meal there. And if you are getting like that buffet style meal, it's not worth <laughs> it's not worth fifty bucks uh, for sure. Even and I'm talking about a whole trip. Okay, so we're talking about. Uh, you you go to a lounge when you fly when you when you take off you might have a layover go to another lounge and then you get to your destination and then on the way back you do the same thing you have the 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 initial place you go to a lounge there uh, flying back home and then you have a layover you go to a lounge there and then you get to your destination if I'm just using it for lounges and not the restaurant credit I don't value it that high uh, I like I said I would say seven or eight dollars each lounge that I go to that's pretty much where what I would value it at. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of how I see it. And seven or eight, that's being really generous. <laughs> I'm telling you, some of these lounges you'll go in and you'll be like, yeah, I got some water and and I got a few snacks, but that's, that's all that I got out of that lounge, uh, other than the fact that you do get internet and stuff like that. So I guess you can value the internet, but you're only going to be in there for a certain amount of time, not very long. So, yeah, $50 is... is that's a that's a really good good value, uh, but me, for me personally, I don't I wouldn't value it that high, unless I'm doing the restaurant credit. Okay, Nate Jess is saying I, I've gotten two hundred fifty dollars uh, worth of food uh, so far with the Priority Pass restaurant credit, and that and. If you're a couple, this is something I didn't mention either. So if you're a couple, yeah, you get even you double that value, right? So if I if I have a trip and it's me plus one, well, I get thirty dollars, they get thirty dollars. That's sixty dollars just for that one that one sit down, that one meal. And a couple that, let's say you do that. Let's let's give it the same example where you're flying. You fly out of uh, an airport, so you, you're able to get a restaurant credit there. You go to a layover, you're able to get a restaurant credit there. And then on the way back, you do the same thing. <laughs> well, there you go, right? So it's six times four, 200. Yeah, it's $240. Um, is that math right? 18. Yeah, $240. If I'm talking about with the plus one. Uh, I think, yeah, that's you can easily get that value if you use it that way. Okay. All right, now we're having a discussion about Amex versus Chase. Uh-oh, lost my place here. Okay, so Brian's saying that uh, that he tracks every benefit in the spreadsheet, like as Sebi style. <laughs> that's cool, that's cool. Yeah, I don't go that far, but I just kind of think, I just kind of think of how I use how I use my benefits, and I, I would I would say that that's where you would be, or where I'm where you would be. That's where I would be usually. I'll get seven or eight dollars for a lounge, and then that thirty dollar credit really puts you over the top in most situations. So, yeah, Julio, what's going on? I value Centurion Lounge at fifty dollars or higher. Wow, okay, that that's a real good value. It, fifty dollars or higher, we're talking. I don't know if we're talking years, guys, or we're talking each trip. So if you're saying fifty thousand, and and maybe I should go back up. So if you're saying fifty dollars or more value, if Vic, if you're saying that for the whole year, because I remember now that was a question the whole year. But then yeah, I would, I would say that's even a low number, <laughs> depending on how much you travel. Uh, that 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 would be a low number if you don't travel very often. Then yeah, for the year that would be pretty low. And Jessica's saying that um, Priority Pass becomes more valuable with families because uh, they count as guests. Yeah, that's true. That is true. So you can bring guests in and stuff like that. So you can value it, value it even higher. 
uh, if you have a family. Okay. And I'll, I'll be putting out a video too, uh, guys. I, it's probably going to be tomorrow morning. I've already edited edited the video. I just didn't put it out today. Uh, I'm trying to spread out my video just a little bit because like I, I mentioned last week, I was putting out a video every day and I need to spread it out just a little bit more because you got to give people time to watch videos, right? We don't all have, like, especially during the week, you're working, you have other things going on, you see a video come up, but you, you, you can't really catch all the videos uh, so I want to spread it out just a little bit. So if I'm doing a live stream, I don't want to put out a new video and a live stream on the same day. Uh, so, yeah, I'll, I'll be putting it out tomorrow, but it'll, it's, a, it's a good video. Um, so I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'll, I'll, I'll post it tomorrow. So I want you guys to come back and see. So, uh, yeah. Let's see. And Nate and Jess, uh, and this is another good thing, too, as far as tipping. Uh, we always, uh, they're in there, Nate and Jesse say we always tip uh, for priority pass meals. Uh, this is something that you want to do. Yes, you want to tip. You're at a restaurant, you still want to tip. But understand that either bring cash or go over your bill. So that's what I just went over my bill the last time. So if you're getting that credit, yeah, it'll give you up to $28 in certain situations. PF Change, for whatever reason, they give you $30 credit. So. You want to go over that if you want to if you want to uh, leave a tip. So I, I just went over it, purposely went over it, so I could um, use my my credit card to pay that extra. I think it was in my case it was like five or six bucks, and then I put the tip on top of that. So uh, or you just want, or just bring cash, and then you could just uh, tip that way. So just be mindful of that because when you get the credit, the credit is a credit. So uh, if you don't go over, well then you can't. You can't use your credit card in order to pay for, in order to tip, I should say. Okay. All right, guys, any other questions? Go ahead and put it in the chat. And please, guys, hit the like button. Uh, we're at 34 likes. We have a little bit of room. So if you guys can get the likes up, uh, please hit the like button if you haven't done so. So we can uh, get up to 50 likes. We have 15 more likes to go. So hopefully in the next uh, the next little time. <laughs> Damn, it's already, how long have I been on already? Ooh, almost two hours. Okay. So please, if you have not done so, please hit the like button for us. So we can bring some more people into the discussion here. All right. Okay. Here. Okay, so Brian has a question here. Um, any thoughts on the Chase 75,000 uh, point mortgage bonus uh, for Chase Sapphire Reserve card holders? You know, you know, it's interesting that you asked that. Um, I'm looking into buying property, and so I was looking into doing that. I have not reached out to them yet, but I always get that that mailer. So I think it's good if you if you're interested in buying a rental property or any property, you know, house or anything like that. I think it's a good a good option uh, to go with that, right? Go with Chase over going with another uh, mortgage company. Uh, they already know. I mean, if you have a Chase Sapphire Reserve, they know your credit is good and all that. So I think that's why they're they're really promoting this to uh, to people interesting it, interested in getting a mortgage. So uh, yeah, I, I'm going to look into that. <laughs> I'm personally going to look into that. Uh, so if I do go with Chase, which I don't see why I wouldn't. I mean. 75,000 points is 75,000 points, right? Uh, so I will let you guys know uh, firsthand. But I, I, I'm, I'm looking to get pre-qualified pre with them uh, just because of that. Okay. And David said no refinance, though. 
Okay. So yeah, it doesn't apply for it doesn't apply to refinancing. I'm like, yeah, you guys are arguing. We're arguing about <laughs> get the cards that work for you. Just remember that always. Because when I'm sitting in that first class seat, I don't care if the points are coming from City, American Express, Chase, whatever, you know, however I got the points there, however I got to be sitting in that seat, flying to wherever I'm flying to, or spending a night in a, a you know, a nice hotel, that's all I care about. So use whatever cards work for you in order to get you uh, where you want to go. Okay. So if you guys have questions for me at TEC, just put at TEC. All right. Okay, so Dane Jess is asking, how do you get mailers for Chase? Uh, they never send us anything except for statements in the mail. I get, so with Chase, I don't get as many mailers with Chase. They do send me a lot. Like Chase likes to do the, they like to get you into their, their bank, you know, the like the checking account and stuff. They'll send me a lot of those, the $300 uh, sign up for a checking account, get $300, uh, $300 or I think up to $600, depending on how much money you put in and have in there at any given time. Uh, so they send me a lot of those. Uh, from time to time, I will get other mailers from Chase, but uh, for the most part, I'm getting emails from Chase. So like that mortgage thing, I get that email all the time. And I'll also get emails for the business cards that I have. They'll send me emails a lot, and then like the referral emails, if you know, refer a friend thing. Uh, so I do get a lot of those. Uh, I think Chase just works a little differently. They don't uh, they don't send out a lot of the a lot of the stuff in the actual mail. Whereas American Express, they send a lot more. I don't even have an American Express card, but I still get uh, stuff like these mailers coming in from American Express and from Capital One. They both send me a ton of stuff. Uh, and I don't have either of those cards. Well, maybe that's why. Maybe that's why they're sending that stuff because I don't have the cards yet. But uh, even City, City doesn't send me stuff that often. But when they do, uh, they're usually they're usually the banking stuff as well. Okay, let's see. All right, make sure you guys are respectful in the chat too, okay? We can have a difference of opinion, but just be respectful <laughs> in the way, you, uh, the way you guys are talking to each other. I'm not saying you're not being, and I've only, I'm only skimming through stuff, but I'm seeing like, I, I realize that you guys are going back and forth. So uh, yeah, just make sure you're respectful in the chat. <laughs> Flashpoint, it just got approved for the American or the Amex version of the Credit One Platinum Plastic Card. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> You're cracking me up, Jason. Okay, so Jessica's saying if you tell the server you want uh, to tip with your credit card, uh, they can do it as a transaction without you uh, intentionally going over that oh okay I didn't know that so you don't have to go over the allotted credit and they can still do a tip I didn't know that that's good to know thank you Jessica I appreciate that I was just thinking I'll go over and just do it that way uh, and I've only used I've only used the restaurant credit once but I mean it's it's something I'm gonna do every time now I mean it, it works the same <laughs> everywhere you go uh, so definitely something I'm going to be looking for every time I fly. So different airports, I'm going to see if they have that restaurant, uh, a restaurant that's uh, participating in the, the restaurant credit. Uh, Flashboy, yeah, Flashboy saying they, they just send you emailers. Uh, yeah. And that's been my experience, but they, they will sit. The paper, the, the actual mail that I get, it's usually the, the checking, 
checking account. They want you to get that, which that's a good deal too. If you do want to get a checking account, you get like $300, $300 for that or 30,000 points. I think that's a, a good uh, good benefit. Texas Al, what's going on? All right, let's see. Okay, guys, any other questions, go ahead and please uh, put it in the chat. And if you guys are in here, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. We do live streams on Saturday and uh, Jason and I do a live stream on Monday. And then I'm also gonna add another live stream day. I haven't decided on what day that's gonna be yet. I'm kind of doing test runs. So you guys have seen that I've been on Sunday and I've been on Thursday. I'm trying to see what works best. Uh, actually, right now, Sunday, I think is the, the best, uh, the best response that I get from uh, people. So usually when I do a Sunday live stream, it's a lot, uh, there are a lot more people on here than, um, than on Saturday. And believe it or not, like Saturday is probably not the best day to do a live stream because most of us are doing things on Saturday. We're running from place to place. It's Saturday night. People go out and do things like that. Uh, so I'm still testing out different days. Uh, Sunday seems to be a really good day. Thursday might be a good day as well. So uh, we're, we're just going to have to kind of play it by ear. And then once I figure out the days that work really well, then, then we'll, we'll go with those. Uh, so uh, I'm just saying that to say I might not have Saturday live streams, but you guys will have Sunday live streams and Thursday live streams and Monday live streams or something like that. So uh, just giving you a heads up there. And I did last week, I did ask like what, and I'll ask this week too. So what do you guys think as far as what days work best for you. It'll be around the same time, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, so if you guys wanna, if you guys wanna share what you think works best for you, or what you think, <laughs> what works best for you, uh, feel free to do that. And uh, that gives me a, a better idea to what people want. Okay, I wanna go into, talk a little bit about uh, the polls. So I do polls and I still don't know exactly how you guys, I, I think they just come up as a notification as far as how you guys find out about the, the polls that I do. I just posted in the community, the community tab. So I don't really know how to navigate to that. Um, I know how to do it myself, but I don't know how you guys navigate to my community, community tab. Uh, I guess maybe if you're on my channel, yeah, I think if you're on my channel that you just click on community and it'll bring it up. Uh, but I like doing these polls now because they're really convenient in the sense that I can just put, I can put whatever I want on that poll and then you guys can, uh, you guys can vote on what you think. Oh, let me pull this off here. You guys can uh, vote on what you think as far as uh, the, what the poll is. Okay, so been trying to do that. Let's see here. Move this up. Just getting everything situated. All right, so let's look at these polls that I did. Uh, I put out a poll earlier today, so 11 hours ago, and we're just talking about uh, do you consider credit card rewards uh, free money? Why or why not? And I guess I'll post a link to this. So if you guys want to go over, you guys can you guys can answer the poll right now if you want to do that. And I just like getting a, a feel for what people think as far as the different topics. I think it's it, it just, it, it's interesting to me. So I like to uh, find out what people are thinking. So we had 89 people uh, do this poll and it looks like 66% said yes and 34% said no. So that's a pretty good, a pretty good margin there, 66%. That's, uh, that's a pretty good margin. And some people had some really good comments when it came to um, how they feel about things. David's in here, of course. Uh, so, and, and I kind of discussed that too, free, nothing's really free. I agree with that. There's always something that they're trying to either need to spend your time in order to get this free item or, I mean, just, it's just like when you go and they, when they tell you, oh, we'll give you a free room if you sit in on this timeshare, uh, seminar or demonstration or whatever, uh, you have to give them your time and then they'll give you the free room. So it's not really free because you're taking your time to to uh, sit in on this this uh, presentation, but is it worth it? That's what I'm saying. So the, the as far as what you need to do to get that free night, uh, is it worth it? And that's why I'm saying free money 
with credit cards. I'm not doing anything, and this is this is what what I what's really what we what we should really focus on. I'm not doing anything. Well, I'm doing one thing different uh, than I used to. I used to use my debit card for all of my purchases. When I use my debit card, I don't have to worry about any other steps. The money's coming straight from my bank account. So once I use that, that debit card, it takes a couple of days or a day or whatever, it will come out of my bank account. Okay, I don't have to take any other steps. With my credit cards now, the only thing that I'm doing different is now I have to pay the credit card off. So I do have to go into my credit card account and hit pay or do auto pay or however you want to do it, but I have to hit pay in order to, to make that transaction happen. So I'm spending a little time, a little extra time doing that, but I'm earning these points, right? And if I want to use the points, yes, I need to take a little bit more time if I'm booking my airfare and all that, but you still need to do that anyway. If I'm paying cash, I still need to go on wherever and book my book my flight, uh, book my hotel. So I'm, I'm still going to do that. I might need to do a little bit more research, and I do need, I do do more research to find out how to maximize my points. Uh, so that will take a little bit more time, but for me, it's worth it. If I'm flying for almost free, like Jason and I were talking about last last week, yeah, it's not totally free. You got to pay taxes and fees. But those taxes and fees are generally very, very, a very, very small uh, amount of money. But uh, I might need to do a little bit more research to do that. So it's worth it for me to save $700 or $800 on a flight or be able to fly on a, a first class seat that I could never afford on um, on my own with, you know, without, you know, I would never pay thousands of dollars to fly on a, a first class a ticket. But if I use points, I can do that. Uh, the only thing I need to do is spend a little bit more time doing the research in order to, to make that happen. Uh, then it's worth it to me, and I, I consider that free. So, okay. And so here, yeah, here are some of the comments. So yeah, guys, just, uh, yeah, a slippery slope uh, to losing value. Okay, so that's Robert Taylor saying that. Uh, no, because the mindset is a slippery slope. And okay, mindset. That's that's really interesting that that he used that word, because you do have to have the right mindset when you're using credit cards. You you just do. You can't you can't think, oh, I can not pay it off every month and still get the these points and these points are valuable. No, the, you're going to lose all the value in those points. If you're not paying your credit card off every month, if you're paying interest on your credit cards. You're losing, you're, you're missing the point for one, and your mindset's not right. So the, the points that you're making, they're, they're all going back into, they're all, you're giving it right back to the credit card companies. So you do have to have the right mindset when it comes to it. Okay, uh, the other thing I put on here too, and I was just interested to know what people think about different hotel chains. So I put Hyatt Marriott Hilton, and we have, <laughs> we have, uh, we have a, a, a winner. <laughs> Hyatt is the winner. This is out of 42 people. And these are not all people that are just in our chat. So it does go out to other people. So anyone can and join in on the poll. And 55% uh, of the people uh, went with Hyatt. And that's twice as much as, I mean, that's a, that's a pretty good number. I mean, granted, it's 49 people, or I'm sorry, 42 people. Uh, yeah, they, <laughs> they, they more than doubled the the feel there. And so Hilton will be number two. I would agree with this. I think Hilton should be a little bit higher up, though, uh, as far as the percentage. I, I do think Hyatt should be number one as far as the properties. Now, the footprint, they're, they're, they don't have a, a large footprint like uh, some of the other uh, hotel chains. But uh, what you get, like if, you, if they have a hotel there, usually the hotel is going to be generally nice. Uh, so I, I would I would agree with this. I, I definitely think Hilton is uh, is second in my mind. It's second uh, for what w for my needs. I would go with Hilton. So I would go with Hyatt, and then I would go with Hilton, and then Marriott. I didn't put IHG in there. Maybe I should have put IHG in there too. Uh, but uh, we have Nate and Jess. Yep, Hyatt is the best. Hyatt so cheap uh, to redeem with points. It's ridiculous. Let me give that a like. <laughs> Let me give all these things a like here. 
High Achieve Redemption. So Flashpoint answered in there. Agent West Coast. Uh, too many benefits and points for those uh, who use Lyft and have uh, Amex Platinum card. All right. So I will be doing these polls. So at least throughout the week, we'll do the polls. So if you see a poll, jump in there. Uh, you can just go to my community tab and you can and you can find out uh, find the polls that I'm doing. And then every live stream on Saturday, we'll pull up the poll and we'll just kind of see what what people are talking about. Uh, I think it 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 puts uh, it allows us to have even more discussion about how people really feel about certain things because we can be in the chat talking back and forth, but you you might not get that full experience of how people feel about uh, different things. But when you see the poll, it, it makes a little bit more sense on how people feel and why they feel the way that they feel. Okay, let's see. All right, guys. So if you guys are in the room right now, please hit the like button for us. So we can bring some more people in. And we'll be on a few more minutes here. So start checking your points. And I want to see... Um, Let's see, I'll go over the questions real quick, and then I want, to, I want to do kind of like a mock giveaway again to make sure that everyone is able to, to buy raffle tickets, okay? So use your points to buy raffle tickets. Uh, let's, before, I'll look at the questions first, and then before that, I will, uh, let's see. Oh, man, hold on a second. I need to pull up something real quick. I want to be able to pull that that um, information up so you guys can you guys can go ahead and the the directions for how to do the use the points. <laughs> God, <laughs> these hot lights are getting to me right now. <laughs> they are messing with my brain. I can't even think. All right, let's see. Okay, let me. I just I just need to pull something up real quick so I can uh, get the link up. Oh, apologize for that. I just need to get the link for the giveaway instructions, which is where did I put it here? Okay. Did I not put it on here? <laughs> All right, guys. What did I, I didn't put the giveaway on here. I don't know why it's not on this one. Okay. Let me try this real quick. Give me one second, guys. I just want to find the link so I can send you over to the link so you guys can check out just the rules on the giveaway. So uh, we can, we can talk a little bit about it because it, basically to buy a raffle, you have to put I raffle one or something like that, depending on how many raffles you want. I wanted to be able to pull that up, but I do not see the link that I thought I put in here. Okay. Here it is right here. Okay, that's that, and perfect. Okay. All right, so open this up in a new tab, guys, and these are the official rules. So that those are the official rules to the link, so just go over there, and we're, I'm going to pull it up in a minute, and we will, uh, I'll kind of go over it with you just so you guys know how, how to do the raffle, and then uh, we'll... We'll do a little mock raffle right now. So let me let me look at some of the, if you guys have any questions or anything, we'll go over that real quick. Okay. Okay, so Julio, let's see. Julio said, just applied for the Barclays Advantage. And I don't know why my Google just went off. Uh, is it going off here? Okay. Uh, just applied for the Barclays Advantage business card. Uh, got denied due to too many card applied or too many cards applied for, and too many inquiries. Uh, I guess 
I will be in the garden till inquiries fall off credit report. Um, yeah, you know, Barclays, they're a little different. I don't have any Barclays cards, but they are a little different when it comes to, uh, they, they have their own little rules and things like that. But uh, some, they're, they're, I've heard that they're, they could be strict at times, so uh, that's unfortunate, but hopefully you'll be able to, to get that card in the future. Flashpoint saying that Barclays has 624 rule, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. All right. All right. All right, guys, if you could do me a favor, please hit the like button. Uh, if you have not done so, if you just come in the room, please hit the like button. I see we have some new faces. Uh, Donnie, what's going on? Uh, let's see. Hi from Medellin. I uh, love the culture. Uh, and the women here are, wow. <laughs> cool. So are you on vacation out there in, in uh, Medellin right now? You should be having fun. It's Saturday night, man. You need to be out right now. What is it? 11 o'clock over there? Should be like out of the club or something. But yeah, it's uh, <laughs> Medellin is, it's, Colombia in general is, is, a, is a beautiful place, that's for sure. Yeah, but you need to be out. You shouldn't be up here in her. I don't, I'm not telling you to leave the, the, the live stream. You can be out there in Parque Yetis right now with the live stream going while you're, you're hanging out at a restaurant or at a club or something. Okay, let's see. Uh, but yeah, Donnie, thanks for stopping by. If you have any questions about uh, Colombia, feel free to hit me up. And I will try to point you in the right direction there. Okay. And Julio says he's going to Bogota next week. Cool, man. Julio, where are you staying in Bogota? Uh, I know they have, like, I, I don't know, for whatever reason, I was thinking that there were no Hyatts in Bogota, but they do have a Hyatt Regency, which I will be... Uh, most likely staying at the Hyatt Regency uh, when I go out there in October. And then they also have a Hyatt place that they're, they're building right now. I think it's slated for 2020. So early 2020, they'll be opening that up. So Hyatt place, that'll, that'll, be my, that'll most likely be my spot. But the Hyatt Regency is very reasonable too. Or it wasn't even a Hyatt Regency. It's a Grand Hyatt. Yeah, it's a Grand Hyatt. It's not even a Hyatt Regency. Uh, Grand Hyatt, it was like $100 a night. So it was very reasonable. No, I think it was a Grand Hyatt. Ah, I can't remember now. <laughs> yeah, but they, yeah, they have some nice property uh, out there. But yeah, I'd be just curious to know if you're using points, Julio, and where you're where you're staying. Let's see. <clears throat> Mr. Alexander, what's going on? Thank you for stopping by. Uh, so, Mr. Alexander is asking about uh, what do you all think about the Amex Hotel collection? I've never used it before. I'm sure there's probably someone in the in the room that has, so maybe they can give you some information on that. But uh, I have not used that hotel collection. Uh, so Julio saying the only Barclays card that he has is the Lufthansa uh, Miles and More card. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't have any Barclays cards, but I do hear that they they are they have their own restrictions, and I, I mean all cards do, right? All all banks will have some something in place, but um, yeah, it's unfortunate if you can't. I mean, it's always like I said we were talking about last week uh, in the live stream. Someone was they were asking if they made a mistake by getting the Chase Sapphire Reserve, they got approved for it. And I said, you know what? You got a card. You got approved. <laughs> Congratulations. You can always move from there. But uh, approval is the hardest part, right? Once you get approved, then you can work with it. So, uh, yeah, the hardest part is not getting approved <laughs> because then you have no options. At least if you get approved, now you have some options. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, let's see, Jessica's asking, do you, uh, asking me, uh, do you have a car that you are thinking about getting uh, next, or next right now? I know you had recently got the ink card, uh, the ink cash card. Yeah, that, so right now, the only other card that I would probably be looking at, or there are two other cards, it, well, let me just put it this way. So I already talked a little bit about buying property, so I am gonna wait a little bit as far as getting a new card. Uh, I don't need any cards right now. I have the points that I can, I have points that will last me until next summer easily. So uh, I have a little time to kind of wait on, on getting cards. And you, one thing you don't want to do is have a bunch of, get a bunch of cards prior to making a, a purchase of a home or a purchase of a car. So uh, that's something you want to consider. So uh, right now, the cards that I would get I'm not getting any cards right now, but if I were to get a card right now, it would probably be the JetBlue card. Uh, that, that, that would be a card that I would get. And then at some point, maybe next year or sometime, I'll do the, the Amex uh, ecosystem. Uh, but uh, yeah, probably not right now. Uh, I'm going to wait a little bit and, and see. So, but like I said, if you use that Chase mortgage at 75,000 points, that would be a nice little chunk right there. That's a card in itself, right? <laughs> Just getting the 75,000 points. So I am, the plan is to go with Chase uh, for a mortgage and then and, and try to redeem that, uh, those points. Okay. But yeah, definitely JetBlue. And then I would go with Amex Platinum and then Amex Gold in that order. So I want to get Amex Platinum, try to get the 100,000 sign-up bonus, and then go with the Amex Gold. I think you need to have both those cards in order to really work a, a good ecosystem with, with uh, American Express uh, because the American Express Platinum is a good card for travel, but it falls off in categories like the groceries and restaurants. So you want to be able to have something that will complement that, that card. All right. Oh, I lost my place here. All right. So Hulu saying I'll be staying at four points by Sheraton, 70, uh, 7,500 points a night. Uh, fifth night free. That's good. That's actually good. That's a good deal there. Uh, so yeah, you'll you'll have fun, man. You'll have fun in Bogota. Make sure you bring. <laughs> or no, no, no. Yeah, you said Bogota, right? Yeah. Make sure you bring uh, some warm clothes. Or not warm clothes. Yeah, warm clothes because <laughs> it gets cold out there. Just be aware of that. And if you can, I don't know how long you're staying. If you're staying all five nights in Bogota and then you're going back home, then have a good trip in Bogota. But if you have a chance, try to go out to Medellin. At least for a couple of days, if you could do that. Um, Medellin is a whole different vibe. Uh, it's a lot different than Bogota. Bogota is a, is a, is a, I don't know if you've, I don't even know if you've been to Columbia before. You might have been, already been to Bogota, but for everyone else who might not have, uh, Bogota is a big city. So you have that big city feel. It's kind of, uh, people aren't as friendly and it's not, uh, you, you have a lot of, like, it's government officials, and you, you have a lot of stuff out there that's, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's a capital city. So just kind of think of big city, big city feel. Whereas if you go to Medellin, it's a smaller city feel. It's still, it's a, a large city, but it's a smaller uh, vibe. People are, are more friendly. and uh, So I have a, a much better time in, in Medellin compared to Bogota. And Cartagena, too. Uh, I have a good time in Cartagena as well. Let's see. All right. Uh, and so Rolo has a question here. This is a good question. He's asking, do you think spending uh, 12,500 uh, miles uh, one way from Florida to Vegas on United is worth it. You know what? It, yeah, it is. I, I think it is. I mean, that's the standard. That is, that's the standard. Usually you're gonna, usually you're gonna spend about 25,000 points to fly anywhere in the U.S. and you're going from Florida to Vegas. It, it, it's worth it. Uh, economy seat, I think it's worth it. 
Okay, Jessica's saying, if you get a mortgage, see if they will let you not do escrow so you can earn points on insurance since you can pay it with your credit card yourself. Yeah, that, that makes sense. That does make sense. I, I will look into that. Thank you, Jessica. Uh, this is what we do. It helps with earning those sweet points. Cool. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Let's go. Maybe do a check later to see. Cool. Okay. So Jessica's giving me a lot of information here. I may have to hit you up offline. <laughs> we could talk a little more about this. Uh, let's see. The only thing about chats is like I read it and then I forget. <laughs> So it needs to be there in my brain somewhere that I can, you know, have it so I can refer back to it. Oh, what did Jessica say? Oh, let me go back on. <laughs> but I, it's hard to go back on the live stream. And sometimes this chat, for whatever reason, it doesn't, it's not always, you can't always go back to it when you're watching the, the stream, um, like the rebroadcast. Uh, Johnny Chingas, what's going on? Uh, I'm loving Columbia, TC, right? Oh, let's see, what's right? Anyone have a Capital One Venture card? <laughs> so he's loving Columbia, and he's asking about the Capital One Venture card. Uh, I don't have that card, but it is a really good card to get. So if you don't have it already and you're considering it, it it's a good one. Uh, the main reason, I think for beginners, it's a really good card. And you have that. You have the TSA PreCheck uh, Global Entry, which I think is, 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 a, is a good benefit there. You get, you get the $95 wait for the first year, that's good. And then it's one of those cards you don't have to think about as far as categories. You get two points for every dollar spent across the board. So uh, it, for a beginner, it's good because it's the easiest one. It's one of the easiest cards to use. Now, when it comes to transfer partners, it does get a little tricky because you don't transfer everything one-to-one. -one, so uh, that's something that you have to think about uh, with that card. But the good thing about it is it has an eraser tool. So if you want to just make per like if you want to use it for travel for different reasons, you can do that. Uh, so you might be in a situation where you don't have points or you can't use points to do certain things when you're traveling. Let's say an excursion. You can't use points for that, but you can use a venture uh, card and do the eraser tool and uh, get your money back for an excursion or helicopter rides and stuff like that. Okay. Okay, so uh, Nate and Jess said you can hit us up in the WhatsApp group uh, about tips uh, from, okay, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that, definitely. Okay, let's see. All right, all right, this is a good time, guys. So if you guys are in here right now, please hit the like button so we can get some more likes uh, in here. We have about 25 people in the room. I'm gonna go over, switch over to the screens right now so we can pull up the giveaway instructions because we're gonna do kind of like a little mock giveaway right now. I just wanna make sure, last time we did the giveaway, like a mock giveaway, and <laughs> for whatever reason, uh, Dolly was the only one that was able to buy points <laughs> or buy uh, raffle tickets. Now the raffle tickets aren't gonna come out, come out of your account, so you're not gonna lose points, or at least you shouldn't lose points. And I will do a quick check prior to just to see where all the points are. Uh, so we'll make sure we're not losing points anywhere. Are you guys seeing this? Yeah. I think where, let's see, where, how do I pull up? Oh no, that's not it. Okay. All right. So Tony, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing to the channel, Tony. And also, I, I shouldn't say, oh God, I should have said this a long time ago, but <laughs> if you subscribe to the channel, so if you're in the room right now and you have not subscribed, if you subscribe to the channel, you will get 50 points. So 50 TEC points just for subscribing. Uh, it's a one-time deal. Now, if you already subscribed to the channel, you can't unsubscribe and then subscribe again. They're not going to give you the points. Uh, but if you are new here and you subscribe to the channel, you will get 50 points just for subscribing. Uh, so Tony, if you check your points right now, you will have 50 more points. Uh, so... 
Congratulations. All right, so we're looking at my the back end of my screen here. And that's that. All right, let's get off there. Okay, here we go with the rules. Now, I thought I had the other thing open, but I guess I don't. All right, so official rules here. YouTube requires you to have official rules for any giveaway, so you have to put that on there. And so I have to have a link to it. So that's the link that I have here. Now I want to go over this because this is important so you guys understand how to uh, buy raffle tickets and, and all that. Now I need to do a couple of things here while we're... So look at that real quick. And I just need to open up... Let's see. I don't know why this is all like this, but... I just need to open this up real quick so we can see if we can start one of these, start a giveaway. All right, so the rules, the way we have them in place, basically this is kind of your tips on uh, how to get points or how to show or how many points you're gonna get for each thing. We'll go over it in a second. I can't, I can't do two things at once. I'm sorry. So I'm trying to focus on one thing. And let's see of that. And let's do the giveaway. And custom. I'm just going to open this up real quick. So if I just open this up, start giveaway, it should be. Yeah, it's open. Okay. So it's open for the next 10 minutes. All right. So. The way this works, so 10 minutes equals 10 points. So every 10 minutes you watch the video or watch the live stream, you're gonna get 10 points, okay? Chat participation, you're gonna get uh, three points. I don't know exactly how they do the chat participation. Um, so you do get participation participation points just for typing different things in the chat. I don't think you're getting three points for every message that you type in there, but uh, you will get points uh, for participating. Uh, new subscriber equals 50 points. You'll get 50 points if you're a new subscriber. So that's something uh, to consider. So if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We're going to talk about travel award credit cards. That's what we do. And then we give giveaway, We do a giveaway once a month. It's going to be the last Saturday of the month. Super chats equal two points uh, per dollar. So if you do give a super chat, you will get two points for every dollar. Um, so just uh, be mindful of that. I wanted to make that number low. I might even drop it lower to like one point for every dollar spent. Uh, but we'll keep it at two points for right now. Uh, I don't want it to be a situation where people feel that they need to buy Super Chat or do a Super Chat in order to, to earn points. Okay, so the chat commands here. So exclamation point points, that equals, that's your current point. So that will, that will show you what points you have. Uh, ex exclamation point top, and that will be the top users there. So if you do that, it'll be the, like the top 10 uh, point earners. And then exclamation top hours, it'll show you how many hours. So it'll show you the top people by hours. Every month, I will refresh this. So uh, David's on top right now, but then we'll refresh it, and then someone else will have an opportunity uh, to, to be on top. So every month we'll change that. Now, the giveaway, which like I said, I opened it up right now. If you type in, let's see, exclamation point raffle and the number of tickets. So it'll be exclamation point raffle two, then you can buy two tickets. I think I have it set so you can only buy up to 10 uh, tickets. Uh, each, each person can buy up to 10 tickets. So if we can start doing that now, then hopefully I'll start seeing some names pop up. And so there's an example there, exclamation point, raffle, and then one. So that would be one ticket that you're buying there. Uh, and so then after, at the end, then I can just do pick a winner, and then it will randomly uh, pick a winner. All right, so if you guys could help me out with that, I really appreciate it, just so we can make sure this thing is, is working. <laughs> That's what I want to, that's what I'm really working on here. I think you might have to space it. So I don't know if you can do, like Nate and Jess, when you put exclamation point raffle all together. I don't know if it will do it that way. I think you might have to space it. And I don't see the stream bot coming up doing anything. <laughs> the stream bot should tell you that you just bought a raffle. So, okay, here we go. Giveaway raffle is going... 
Okay, so there's the information there. So now, try to do it now. Maybe it'll, hopefully it will allow you to do it. I don't know why there was a delay on that, but maybe it needed to catch up or something. So hopefully that works. We'll talk a little bit. We'll talk a little bit while you guys are doing that. So uh, that's pretty much what we have as far as, and you know, I know that the topic was the long haul flights. So that's what we were talking about. So I, I've been, I, I like to do at least one trip, you know, long trip. And now this is, <laughs> I'm distracted now because it's not doing anything. It should be giving us something here. Let's see. Maybe, yeah, I don't know why it's not doing anything. Let me, let me try to see if I can do it because I think maybe my settings are, are messed up here where it's not, uh, what does it say now? Subscriber. Okay, so you do need to be a subscriber or moderator, but you guys are subscribers, <laughs> so why isn't it doing it? Uh, let me try to see. Let's see what it does here. Because I might just have to, I don't, uh, yeah, let's see. See, it did it for me. All right, let me let me try to make a change here. I didn't want to have to do it this way. Um, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna close it and then try to make a change real quick. Just to the giveaway. All right. I appreciate you guys being patient uh, with me. I'm just trying to. Get, I just want to. I just want this thing to work. <laughs> we have next week. It has to be. We have to be good to go for next week. And all right. Oh, I just. Uh, that's not going to work. Okay, so giveaway. Yeah, I do not understand why I can't get it. Oh, man. Okay, here we go. Giveaway settings. Just give me one second, guys. I just need to... That's not what I'm looking for. Oh boy. So there was a section, I can't find it right now, that will allow me to change the settings for the giveaway. And, of course, I don't see it. Let's reset it. Save. All right, let's... Let's try it one more time. No, it's still showing the same thing. Ah. So right now, guys, it's not going to do anything. I mean, it's not. The giveaway has been closed. So uh, I was just trying to see if I could make some changes, but it doesn't look like I can. Command. Uh, tools. All right. 
Looks like I need to do some research on this before. It doesn't look like I'm able to do what I want to do right now. I'm going to open it back up and then see if I can't. So you guys can try. You guys can try right now, but I'm going to see if I can try to make some changes here. User management. No, that's not it. Let's see. Add a new one, custom, permission, everyone, 30 minutes. Okay. Okay, we're going to try this one. Hold on. <clears throat> All right, we're closing this entry, and then we're going to start this one, a new entry, and see if this one works. Uh, I, I've changed the settings a, a little bit, so hopefully this one will allow me to do what I want to do here. Okay, so it might take a second for the the bot to realize what's going on here and uh, nothing raffle has started okay so this is the raffle here all right now try to do it hopefully we'll be able to pull it out this time uh, for whatever reason it's it wasn't allowing me to do the, do it the other way so there it is perfect okay cool so now we're going with it all right I had to open it up for everyone, but you need to be a subscriber <laughs> in order to win the, the giveaway, okay? So I will announce this next week when we, when we do it, so just everyone knows, hey, you need to be subscribed. I had to open it up to everyone. I don't know why I had it set for subscribers and, and uh, moderators only, but you guys are subscribers, and it's not letting you buy tickets, so... Um, that's why I opened it up to everyone. Excuse me. <laughs> the last, last week, uh, Dolly was the only one that, or two weeks ago, whenever we did it, Dolly was the only one that was able to do it uh, for whatever reason. And she's a moderator, but there are other moderators that were in there too. So anyway, uh, if you guys can go ahead and try to do that just to, uh, to see if this thing is working properly. And then we'll do like a little mock, uh, a mock, a mock giveaway here. Okay. And check your points too. I don't, I, there shouldn't be any changes to points. So, uh, just, just check just to make sure that you're not losing points because if you are, then I don't want to have that happen at least right now because they're not, this is not for, we're not doing this for anything, but, uh, yeah. And I appreciate you guys being here, helping me out with this because I just want to make sure we don't have any glitches or anything next week when, when it's actually live and when we're doing a, a real one. So yeah, that looks like it's, looks like it's bringing everything in. Where is, okay. All right. All right, guys, so is there anyone else? Uh, first off, you, if you guys have any questions, let me know. And looks like Nate and Jess, Tony, Jessica, Brian, and Julio, you guys all did points. 
Uh, so let me just, I just want to make sure that everyone's able to get points so, or get a raffle. So if you, someone else can do a raffle just so I can make sure it's working and then we'll go ahead and close the raffle off and then do like a little mock thing here. Okay. So Tony, you were able to get, are you checking your points? All right. Okay, so I know I've totally gone off to something else, but if you guys have questions, I'm gonna check the, the chat right now. If you guys do have questions uh, that are uh, that are related to <laughs> travel award credit cards and stuff like that, go ahead, feel free to put that out there. Um, and we'll, I'm gonna look at the questions again, and then we'll, we'll do the raffle, and then we'll be done for tonight. Why am I? What's going on here? Okay. It's crazy because I have all these windows open. So I'm like, where am I? I'm trying to find my place. I'm pulling up stuff. Okay. All right. All right. All right. We're good now. We're good. You got everything working now. All right. Okay. So let me just go back up. So if you guys have any questions or anything like that, just put at TEC and we'll look at the questions uh, one more time and then we'll close out the raffle and then we'll go ahead and uh, end the show. And I will be back on Monday for sure. And you might see me tomorrow. Okay. I got some new gear too. I can even talk to you guys about. <laughs> so I went out and got another camera, um, Sony A6400. So I've been... I've been interested in getting this camera. I was kind of waiting a little bit. Uh, so for those of you, like, I'm a Sony shooter. So I have the Sony a7R 3 That's what I use for, like, my professional gigs. This is a great camera for uh, video. So for video like this, sit-down video, it's, it's, a, it's a perfect camera for that. So that's why I picked it up. Uh, I use a Panasonic G7 right now. It's a really good camera uh, for this kind of style uh, shoot. But... I also have, I've also, I also, I have another channel, okay? And I'm going to be launching that channel very, very soon. So I wanted to get everything set up for that, have my little set, and then have another camera for that. For those of you guys who don't know, like, for me, the way that I work best is to have everything set up. So use a corner of my room, have this all set up, have the camera set up, the lights all set up. So all I need to do is sit down and start talking. That's, that's the, for me to do the, this kind of stuff, especially when it comes to live streams, uh, it, it just works better that way. I don't want to have to set up everything, take everything down, set it up every time that I want to, I want to shoot, uh, because it just, it's, it, it, it becomes too much work. It really does because you're constantly going back and forth. Even though I have this set up like this, I still need to turn the computer on. I still need to set the camera as far as the camera's there, but I need to make sure it's in focus and, and do all that and then work on the software in the background. So it still takes me probably about 10 minutes in order to have everything solid and ready to go. But uh, I have to have it set up. And sometimes I just have that creative thought in my head and I wanna just sit down and talk. And uh, so not, not a live stream, but like doing, shooting a video. Like I have the, the urge to just sit down and, and talk or there's something that's on my mind and I want to I want to be able to get it out. I don't want to have to spend a bunch of time like setting everything up to do that. And so that's why the, the perfect scenario is for me to have another camera, set it up in, in my, you know, my other room where I have another set in there and I can just sit down and, and go with it. I don't have to switch cameras back and forth. Uh, so it might seem like weird, like, oh, what's, it's, what's the deal? You know, it's no big deal. You just move one camera to the, but it is, it is a big deal. When you have a camera set up already and it has me perfectly, you know, in the, in the right spot, I don't have to move the camera or anything like that. It, it, it's just, it just works out a lot better. Uh, let's see. <laughs> oh, Brian saying that I'm the only one that can win. That was the old, old stuff. Now people are able to get in. So, uh, and you can only get up to 10. You can only get up to 10. So if you do go over 10, then yeah, it's not going to let you 
keep buying points. Okay. All right. So I'm just looking to see if there are any other questions here. And then we will uh, we'll go from that. And my other channel I didn't say is Creator Visuals. And I'm going to start putting it as a as a, a featured channel on on my on my page here, just so you guys can uh, go over there and subscribe. And basically, what we'll talk about there is if we're just going to talk about camera equipment, basically, or not just camera equipment. We're going to talk about camera equipment for video. So if you want to shoot video, if you want to do YouTube videos and stuff like that, I'm going to be talking about lighting. I'm going to talk about the the camera equipment I use, the the microphones uh, that I use, and microphones that I would recommend. Uh, so that's what that channel is going to be all about. So it's going to be specifically about making videos and how to make videos. And I truly believe we're, we're in a world right now where video is very, very powerful. And I, I, I'm sure everyone sees just the, the impact that YouTube has uh, and the impact that video has on, on our world today. I mean, it used to be images, right? Images were, the, were, were like the, the powerful... Uh, for a variety of different reasons. It was very powerful to see uh, pictures uh, of different things. Uh, and we still see, you know, we're, we're still that way today. Like Facebook it, it became, I mean, Facebook became popular because of sharing pictures and uh, then having that, you know, that communication between different, you know, communi communicating about different pictures and stuff like that. Uh, that's how Facebook became popular. Uh, and now we're seeing, you know, obviously, YouTube, and then Facebook is going to video, and and Instagram, Instagram's going to video. So they go from usually go from pictures into more video and more video. And so uh, I think it's important for all of us to really kind of understand how to like if we wanted to shoot a video for whatever reason, or now we see a lot a lot of people doing uh, the the live. Um, a voice chat and all that stuff where you're on talking with your friends and stuff like that. Uh, well, there's some certain tips that you might, that will really help you out as far as lighting. If you're using your phone, uh, lighting will definitely help you and maybe using a, a mic, uh, things like that. So yeah, it's very important. So that's what we're going to talk about on that channel. So creator visuals. And like I said, I'll, I'll start posting a link so you guys can just go over there and subscribe to the channel. And I'm, I'm going to be launching it really soon. Like I have this all set up now. I already kind of have my set somewhat the way that I want it. I'm still working on the set. It, it, it's, it's not like this one. It's not elaborate. I have, this took me a while to get, get it here. And I have another set that um, I have another set too that I don't use very often anymore. Only because it's, like I said, it's one of those practical things. I don't have time to go over there and set, like I have to do some, uh, it, it's my kitchen. <laughs> so I have to do some setting up, set up a tripod, camera, all that stuff. So it's not, uh, it's a little harder for me to do. So I do have that set, but I don't use it very often. But now I have another set too in another room that I'll be using for the creator visual stuff. All right, guys, let me go ahead and move on down here because I'm losing you guys. I know, I get it. And I just wanted to, do this raffle at the very end here, but I want to make sure there, there are no more questions before we do that. Okay. All right. Doesn't look like there's any questions, so that's good. All right, let's go ahead and check over here and see where we are. Oh. All right. So did anyone just, did anyone try to get in the raffle and was not able to? That's all I want to know. Um, because I just want to make sure that if you tried to get in, that you're able to. What is going on? So just let me know. If you tried to get in and you weren't able to do it, just let me know. So I just want to make sure, like I said, I want to make sure that that I'm able to, that it, that it does work. So just 
just let me know if you try to get in and you weren't able to. All right, and if you guys are in here, if you're still here, <laughs> and I appreciate you still being here and you haven't hit the like button, please do, do so. Let's see, I got in, I believe, but I on, it only let me buy one a ticket. You know what, I might have only had it set for one. So I, I just redid my, my little raffle thing, so I might have only had it set for one. The other one I had set for 10, but I had to change it, so. All right, so it looks like everybody was able to get in that wanted to get in. I just wanna make sure of that. All right. Okay, so we're gonna switch over and do the raffle real quick. All right, what's going on, Hip? Good to see you. Okay, let's pull this up here. Okay, so I don't see anyone saying anything about points as far as not being able to get a raffle, so that is good. And we'll go ahead and, wait, I wanna open up my, oh, yeah, yeah, this is driving me crazy. Have all these windows open and I'm getting confused. Yeah, this doesn't need to be here. And one more here. Okay. And what, so, so David, so let's see, you're, you're, let's see, I'm going to make a channel if I decide to do it for 2020. Cool, David, I didn't know that. That's good, man. If you are interested, just, uh, if you have questions, hit me up, definitely. But uh, yeah, it, you should do it. <laughs> you should do it. People ask me, oh, yeah, you know, I, I would be cool to have a channel. You should do it. You should just get out there. And one thing that I know, and I haven't been practicing what I preach, you just need to go, you just need to do it. Like uh, with this new channel that I'm talking about, Creator Visuals, I've been thinking, oh, I need to have this set. And I told you, oh, I got this camera. I need to get a camera. I just need to, you just need to do it. Start shooting videos, put it out there, and then just go from there. Because once you start doing that, then it'll, it'll, it'll start motivating you because you'll start seeing people subscribing and things like that. So it'll motivate you. You just need to get it out there though. So uh, I've learned that uh, in, in the, in, you know, doing the channel that I'm doing now. And I do, there's, certain, there's a certain level that I want. Be, there's a certain level that I know I can, I can accomplish. So now it's a little bit harder because I want to have that kind of set in place before I go. Uh, because <laughs> the funny thing is, and this is going to happen, it happens to everyone, but you'll look back on the videos that you shot way back when, and you're like, oh my God, what the heck was I thinking? So being that I already kind of know how to do the lighting and the set, you know, the set and all that stuff, I, I put a little bit more pressure on myself to want to have everything a little bit um, more professional looking because I don't want to look... I, it's still gonna happen. I'm gonna look back on. I'm gonna look back on these videos and be like, "What was I thinking?" Like five years from now, I'll look back on these videos and be like, "Wow, I was way. What am I doing?" <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's a certain level that I want to be at. That's that's the whole thing there. And I have a channel already going, and I'm putting out, devoting a lot of time to it. So uh, at some point, I will uh, start that channel. Some point, real soon, I'll start the channel. And believe me, you guys will know because I'm gonna be talking a lot about it. Uh, so, but if you're interested in, do, in putting out a YouTube channel, you should do it. You should just get out there. And one thing, don't worry about your family and don't worry about your friends, okay? Because I was that way before when I first started. I'm thinking, oh, what is, you know, it's embarrassing. Um, what are my friends going to say? My family, you know, your family's your family, right? So they're going to support you no matter what, but... Uh, your friends, you're going to have two types of friends. You're going to have some friends who are going to be like, hey, yeah, that's cool. You're going to have some friends who are just going to rag you and just make fun of what you're doing. 
but uh, ultimately, hey, I, I got to the point where I don't, I don't care. <laughs> I really don't care. Uh, that, that's the way that I look at it. Um, I, I, I don't care. I'm going to do what I want to do, and, and you can make fun of it if you want. But uh, some people can get value out of it, so I'm doing it for those people. And some people will appreciate it. I'm doing it for those people. But, you, yeah, especially guys. Like, you, you have friends that <laughs> they're just, they're just going to gonna rag you. And then those same friends, a couple of years down the road, are probably going to be like, hey, man, can you show me how to do this? Can you show me how to do that? And, you know, that kind of stuff. But, yeah, that's just the way things go. Okay. All right. So we're going to close the raffle off, and we're going to go ahead and do a – a mock thing here. And so this is the way that I will present it to you guys, just so you know. So this will come up. Streamlabs will say you can no longer enter the raffle, so you'll be done with that. And then uh, from that point, then we'll switch over screens here. And so this is the screen that we'll be looking at. Uh, and that will be the, uh, the, 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 giveaway <laughs> portion of the screen. So it's this pick a winner here. So you guys will see it'll just randomly generate and then it'll show. Uh, Justin, I just closed it. You can't, you guys can't buy raffles right now. And you can't buy 10 anyways. I think you can only buy one at a time. So uh, let's see, was Justin in there already? All right, Justin, try to buy one. I'm gonna open it up one more time. So just hit I, uh, exclamation point raffle one. Just do that. Okay, so if anyone wants to buy a raffle right now, you can do it. I just opened it back up. And so exclamation raffle, exclamation point raffle one, and hopefully it will give you a ticket. But I think, I think you can only buy one ticket. <laughs> hopefully it's going to do it. Where is the bot? There we go. Justin, one ticket. And anyone else buy a ticket? Or was it just Justin? Yeah, I think it was just Justin. Okay. So we're going to close it off again. And then we'll, we'll go ahead and do the, uh, we'll go ahead and do the raffle at this point. Okay, so this is what you guys will see. The screen here, <clears throat> you're going to have all the people who entered the competition here. Okay. Hip, you're killing me, man. Did you get in and get the ticket or no? <laughs> you guys are killing me. Why are you guys waiting till the last minute? Ay, ay, ay. All right. Just for you, Hip, we're going to do this one more time. So go ahead, Hip. Exclamation point. Raffle. One. And so it's open back up. So you can do it hip real quick and then we'll close it off again. And then we're going to be done. All right. And hopefully it'll, the bot will, uh, remember that you can only buy, you can only buy one raffle. I think right now that's the way I have it set. Yeah. So if you already bought one, you won't be able to buy one. So Julio, you have one already. So you can't buy another one. Nate and Jess, you can't buy another one. And I was just waiting for hips to show up, but I didn't see. Hmm. Hip is not showing up. All right, well, the bot doesn't like you, Hip. He's not letting you uh, buy a raffle. I don't know why. See, this is some of the stuff I need to kind of dial in. Do it uh, a space, though. Hip, do a space, so exclamation point, raffle, space, one. So a space between raffle and one. Did you do that? You did that? No, did you do that on the other one? Yeah, put, there, put a space in between that one, and then it'll probably understand it. So, hip, do it one more time, and then if it doesn't work, then we're just going to go ahead and go on to the raffle. 
and then round out our show here. But I just want you to try it to see if it'll work. Okay, so, um, yeah, so this is what you guys will see. This is a screen, and this is what I'll open up on the day, and then we'll see all of the entries here, and then I'll pick the winner, and then the winner will show up uh, down here. And it's gonna be a gift card. We're doing $25 gift card. I haven't decided which, which gift card we're gonna do yet, uh, but we will do a gift card, so. Uh, that that is the plan. There you go hip. All right, so make sure you put that space in between So it's going to be exclamation point raffle space one or space two I'll probably allow people to buy more than well. I will allow people to buy more than one raffle uh, ticket But it will probably be more uh, It'll co probably cost more like I'm gonna have uh, I don't know how many points it's I haven't decided on exactly how many points we're gonna charge for each raffle but uh, I want to make it so the people who do watch a lot have a better opportunity to win uh, than uh, someone who just came on and only watched, you know, have only seen uh, one show or, or what have you. Okay, so let's close it off now. So we'll close entries, and then we'll do the pick a winner. So these are the people that are in the in the uh, in the group right, or in the the raffle right now. All right, pick a winner. And there we go, Justin wins. Nothing, Justin wins nothing. <laughs> okay, so that that will be the way it goes and then it will announce our, our winner here, Justin. Uh, but I do wanna show you guys what I'm pushing so you guys will see like, okay, you know, it's not, I mean, I'm not just randomly picking a name, like I am pushing this thing in it and it and it will we'll pick up here. And it looks like, does it pick up all the chat or it just picks up Justin, okay, so. I can, looks like I can chat with Justin, with Justin, uh, or can I chat with Justin? I don't think I can. I don't have a chat box, but anyway, Justin could put a response on there, and then we can see what he's saying there. But yeah, so next week, next Saturday, that's when we're doing the raffle, okay? So you want to jump in and watch some of these, especially if you, if you want to do, get as many points as possible, uh, you want to jump in. For uh, we'll be doing a live stream. I will probably jump on a live stream. Most likely jump on tomorrow. <laughs> no promises, but most likely I will be, will be jumping on tomorrow around around 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and then for sure on Monday we'll do a live stream. Uh, so uh, one thing I have not figured out yet is if I can use this on like um, different platforms. So. I don't know how that all works. And when I say different platforms, I'm, I'm using this software now, but let's say if I was using just YouTube. So I, let's say I wasn't home, I was trying to come online somewhere else or on my phone, am I able to still uh, have people earn points while they're watching me if I'm doing a live stream on my phone? So that's something I'm gonna have to figure out uh, because that would be great. Like if I'm traveling, I'm out, I can do live streams. You guys can still come on and, and get points and check your points and all that. So, all right. Uh, any other questions? Anything else? Just let me know. Uh, we'll give it a couple, like two minutes. If you guys have any questions, we'll, we'll answer those questions in the last two minutes. And let me check that leaderboard. Make sure you check your points just to, to see if they have not changed. Um, Let's see here. Yeah, make sure your points haven't changed. Like if you look at them, you're like, oh shoot, I lost a bunch of points. It, you should not have, but <laughs> just make sure. Uh, okay, and another thing too uh, that I wanna talk about is, uh, well, I already, I already talked about it, but the, just the reset. So we, we reset every month. So at the beginning of the month, it will reset just to give everyone an opportunity, right? To, to uh, be on top there. I might have the points at the raffle at like 100 points per raffle ticket, okay? So what that will do is the people like David, for instance, uh, well, let's slide him over here. We'll look at the point, the leaderboard here. Uh, so people that have a lot of points will have, obviously they have a better shot, right? So uh, David's at 960 points, 62 points. 
So if we had it at each raffle is $100, or $100, I'm sorry, 100 points, 100 TEC points, then David could get nine tickets at this point, and then maybe uh, he'll, he'll be over that. He'll be probably at 1,000 uh, points, so he'll be able to buy 10 raffle tickets, whereas other people uh, won't, won't be able to buy as many. So that is probably what we'll do. Have the, the, the raffle, you know, it's a lot more to, to purchase the raffle tickets. But uh, the, yeah, this is, the, this is the current leaderboard. And so I appreciate everyone for your support and, and watching the channel and, and, and helping out. Uh, and these are the, the, top, the top people on our leaderboard right now. So uh, I really appreciate it. I really do. I mean, you guys are, it's amazing how much, like, coming out, doing live streams, believe it or not, it, it and I always say this, it's easy to, to do the live stream in the sense that you don't have to edit anything, but live streams are really, really hard to do because you have all this stuff going on. Uh, you guys can't see this, but I have three screens on, <laughs> three screens going right now. Okay, I have my desktop, or not my desktop, my laptop sitting in front of me uh, underneath the camera that has a screen open then I have another screen open here uh, so I have a, a monitor right here and then I have another monitor right here and they both have different they all have different things going on so that's why when you see I'm like looking around and I'm, I'm like flipping through things well I'm like flipping the different screens to see what's going on so um, <laughs> what is going on here I don't know. What are, what are we talking about here? All right, all right. I don't know what's going on, but... <laughs> all right, I don't catch everything sometimes, so you guys might be chatting back and forth. Hopefully everything is cool. But I just saw Michael screw them leave. I, I guess maybe you're talking about a, uh, either a credit card company or something. Okay, anyway. So, yeah, I have different screens going on. Because I have all these different screens going on, yeah, it, it's, it's not easy to do a live stream. You have to really be able to multitask. I'm not really good at that, I'm telling you. I can focus on one thing at a time, but, um, yeah, I'm not able to, <laughs> to multitask very well. I'm working on it, right? So it, it, is, it is a little hard. So just your support, I really appreciate it, and the fact that we have people that are on here, like David, 19 hours. I mean, that, that's crazy. 14 hours for, for Michael, 12 hours for Nate and Jess, uh, Braveheart, eight hours. I mean, this is just like crazy time that you guys are spending uh, supporting the, the channel, and I really appreciate that. I really, really do. Uh, so, yes, these are all the people here at the top. And so, uh, yeah, I appreciate all of you guys. All right, guys. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's all. So if you guys, let's see, we have one question here. Uh, Nate and Jess, or no, Jessica's saying, do uh, tickets roll over if not used? Um, no, they're not going to roll over. Uh, unfortunately, no. Uh, yeah, because I want to reset everyone at the beginning of the month so everyone has an opportunity to, to get to the top. So I don't want to roll them over in that sense because now they're they just won't use them one month and then the next month it's kind of like the you know the the amex gold you know those those uh <laughs> those credits <laughs> they don't roll over that ten dollars doesn't roll over the next yeah so I, I want everyone to have an opportunity so to be on top right so i don't want to i don't want to roll them roll them over so on that day on that saturday we'll we'll do the raffle you can come in and get your your uh, your ticket, and then we'll, we'll go. And even if I mean, if it's a, if it's one of those deals where I'm not gonna say that you have to be watching at the time of the raffle, but I will only open up that raffle at a certain time. So it'll be a certain time frame where you can get in, you can buy the raffle tickets, and then I'll close it off. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're not gonna have them roll over. Uh, let's see, roll over or not, I won't uh, get past. <laughs> That's David saying that. So he's saying he's always going to be on the top. So, yeah, no, one thing I don't know is, like, overall, I would like to know overall, like, the overall top uh, viewer.
but uh, and maybe I can show some appreciation for that at the end of the, the year or something like that. So I'm going to have to see when I do reset the points, is there any way that I can see overall, you know, who has the most? So that's something I'm going to have to look into. Um, and what we might do is just go by month. So uh, let's say David is this month. He's the top of this month. And then next month, it's someone else. And then kind of see. So we might have one person that for four months, they were on top. So they, for that year, they were the, you know, the top, uh, the top, what am I trying to say? The top viewer, because they had four months out of the year or six months out of the year or whatever. I'm just giving an example. But yeah, we might, I could probably do it that way so I don't have to do overall points. I can just do by month. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and take off here. And I appreciate everyone stopping by. I appreciate everyone. I appreciate all your support. And uh, please, if you have not hit the like button, please, on the way out, just go ahead and hit the like button for us uh, so we can get this, uh, get this going uh, for... Um, get this going in the rebroadcast. So like I said, and, I, and I've said this uh, for, from time to time, it really helps out uh, the, the rebroadcast when there are likes on the video. And I'm finding out now, like there's certain videos, and you, you guys can check, you guys can check just so you know, there's certain videos that I do that YouTube likes, or that automatically promotes. And I'll tell you right now, United Explorer, the United Explorer card, YouTube likes, uh, they, they tie me too. Because what YouTube will do is they'll tie you to certain areas. So travel credit cards, I haven't really gotten tied into that fully. So if you put in travel credit cards, you're not going to, like, I'm not going to be one of the top, uh, the top videos that come up. But if you type in United Explorer card, I'm one of the top videos that comes up. If you type in JetBlue uh, Plus card, I'm probably the top <laughs> card, the top video that comes up. So YouTube already, they kind of have put me in that thing. So if I put JetBlue anything, YouTube is going to promote that because they know that they've already promoted content like that and people like that content. So that's how YouTube figures out uh, what videos to promote, what videos not to promote. Uh, so, and when I say promote it, basically what I'm saying they, they do what they call impression. So what they'll do is they'll just put it out to different people. And they'll say, oh, Nate and Jess, they like this video. And uh, Nate and Jess also likes these videos. And these other people like these videos. So these other people might like my video. See what I'm saying? And so they will promote it out to those different people. That's why when you pull up your feed, when you're going on YouTube, you pull up your feed, and you'll, you'll start seeing different things. And it, all you need to do is type in a search of something, and then for a while after that, you're getting these different videos that are similar to something that you were looking for. So that's how that all works out. And there's certain videos, like I said, that YouTube will automatically promote if I do a video on United Explorer. If I do a video, even video like on Chase Sapphire Reserve now, uh, I did just did a video, it did really well. So now YouTube is promoting more of that. So you type in Chase FI Reserve and you're going to have some videos that are going to come up. I don't think I'm at the top of that, that but you'll see some videos that will come up that, or that are mine, that, that, uh, that are related to Chase FI Reserve and, and, and stuff like that. The, the passport one, I keep talking about that. So US passport, you type in that, I'm at the top of that and I'm dominating that. So when I put out another video about passports, I'm going to get automatically promoted by YouTube. So I'm learning all this stuff now. I didn't know anything about it before, but I'm starting to see, okay, yeah, this is how it works. Uh, live streams now, obviously travel award cards, put live in that anywhere. And usually my videos are gonna come up. Why? Because I'm one of the only people that are doing a, on a consistent basis, live stream that talks about travel award credit cards. So I'm dominating that, that area right now. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm learning along the way, but I'm just just giving you guys kind of a heads up. So when I say hit the like button, hit the like button. The reason I'm saying that is because it will start promoting that a lot more. Uh, so uh, that, that's how that works. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and take off here. Let's see. As uh, once in a lifetime sign up bonus. Let's see. You guys are talking about something. Nick, what's going on? Thank you for stopping by. 
Uh, flew my first red eye from Hawaii to LAX, and let me tell you, it was no bueno. You know, red eyes aren't bad. I don't mind them because it does give me a little time to relax. I, I don't. I can't really sleep on a plane, but I'm probably at my most relaxed state <laughs> on the red eye flights because I can at least. Uh, I'm at least tired. Like when it's a regular day and I'm flying, uh, I, I'm not. I'm not tired, and so I don't. I won't go to sleep anyway, and I can't even if I try to like take a nap or something like that. I can't do it, not on a plane. But when I do a red eye, I can at least doze off for a little bit. Even in the economy, I can doze off a little bit because my body is used to sleeping at that time. So, yeah, it, it usually works out for me. And and the flights from from Hawaii to LAX, generally, what, five, six hours? That's not that long for me. So I'm usually okay. Like, even if I can't sleep, I'm, I'm still fine. Let's see. Uh, Nain Jess is saying, that's because you're the best at live streams. I appreciate that. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's, it's tough. <laughs> it's tough. And I've put out some real bad live streams in the past. But the only way you get good at it is you just keep doing it. And that's that's a way every time I do it, just like we're doing today, we're doing all these different tests, right? Because it didn't work before. So I'm trying to say, okay, I'm trying to think on the fly. Uh, so you have to be able to think on the fly a lot. And then you also just need to do it. Just get out and do it. And you're going to mess up. You're going to mess up. You're going to look silly. Uh, you're going to get embarrassed. But it's one of those deals you just have to you just keep doing it and you get better. But that's why I'm saying I'm going to keep doing it and get better and better and better and have things look better in the set and all that stuff. And then fake it till you make it. That's the, <laughs> that's the way to go. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and take off now. And uh, thank you guys all for stopping by. And I will talk to you guys. I don't even know if this is working. Hopefully this hopefully this works. I did this last time when I clicked it and it didn't work. So we'll see. <laughs> I'm going to try to do a proper sign off. If it doesn't work, then you're still going to see me and I'll have to do it the other way. All right. So, yeah, thank you guys all for stopping by. I really appreciate you guys, your, your support. And we'll probably be on tomorrow at some point. Uh, I'll let you guys know. In the WhatsApp group, you guys will know. I'll put a post a link there, and I'll also post a link in the Facebook group. And then on Monday, we're going to do our live stream with uh, with uh, Jason. So, okay, guys. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Yeah, it didn't work. <laughs> I don't know why this isn't working. You know what? This is bugging me, so I need to fix this button here. All right. Okay. I think the button is fixed. Let's try it again. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.